without incident at all. Oh man, yeah, yeah. no, flawless, flawless start. I, flawless I, start. I definitely didn't minimize all of my windows right before this. You gotta, you gotta take yeah, everybody's no. word for it, chat. There was no issue. Yeah, nothing. It, no, none. Nothing bad happened. There's nothing bad one. has happened. That's one of them. Yeah, nothing bad ever happened. God damn it, Corsair device update. <laughs> I'll kill you. Wee! Nothing oh, that's bad. bad! Update now too! Awesome! If, if this happens throughout the show, I am going to tear my what's left of my hair out. I'm going to live dangerously in open garage band. Oh, I thought you were going to say a bag of chips. Ooh, <laughs> I was like, you should... ooh. <laughs> Oh, you should I, set it to the most powerful instrument of all in GarageBand. Oh, uh, insert easy. Death Note comment reference here about eating chips. Ba 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 da ba da. Yay! I'll I'm take topical. a potato chip <laughs> and consume like it. Chips. Wait, is that what that's from? And yeah, yeah. Is. that is Death Note. Oh shit! Huh? How about that shit? You learn something new every day, Rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to episode fourteen of Gateway, everybody. Yeah. It's almost, it's almost yeah. time for our, almost yeah. time for our quinceanera. Oh yeah! Oh, my sister threw a quinceanera for her. Oh, yeah. oh I hope you, I hope you've had time to come up with backup characters. What? Yeah, it's yeah, it's Cynthia, but like I combined her lower half with like uh, Gidea Buttercup, so she's a centaur now. What? Excellent. That's how you Wait, get a centaur. Back, what? No. Yeah. The backup character's Phil, and you can't do nothing to him. He's already dead. Well, no, actually, actually, how you get a centaur is is you, is you dip somebody in a vat of uh, in a vat of, in the vat of the super mutant uh, juice, uh, but it doesn't I... work out so great. Oh, that centaur! Never mention that centaur. <laughs> Never. I'm as sorry. As long as breath fills my lungs, because I remember I played that game when I was a kid, and I was like, "Oh, a centaur!" That's not a centaur. <laughs> I'm oh sorry. My. Oh, oh my! But wow, uh, you really opened the gateway for that one. Boy, yo! Boy, yo! And speaking of Poyo, uh, Caitlin, where can yeah. they find you? What are you up to? Uh, you can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog. You can find me here on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Boobs McBalrog with zeros instead of O's. Uh, I am also part of a podcast called Nerd on the Podcast. You can find out more about that at nerdon.tv. We have two shows that come out every single week, one of which we record live at twitch.tv slash nerdon every Sunday at 3 p.m. PST. And we have the chat come in and be part of the episode. That's it for me. Woohoo! Rabbit, we're going to find you. Hey, what's going on? My name is Rabbit, local internet funny henchman. Uh, you can find me streaming at twitch.tv slash heymrrabbit, H-E-Y-M-R-R-A-B-B-I-T. Uh, I have a schedule I somewhat adhere to. Uh, I try to shoot Mondays through Fridays. Sometimes it doesn't play out. I'm only human. Uh, I, uh, I'm a variety streamer. Uh, I play pretty much anything under the sun. I literally have a wheel on wheel to side if I can't think of what to play. Um, and um, I pretty much play anything under the sun. Like I said, uh, retro games, RPGs, and horror games are my favorite. Um, the games I've recently played is uh, Alan Wake's American Nightmare, uh, which I guess ties into another game called Control that I know nothing about, but I'm eager to see how that plays out. It's very uh, good. And um, then there's uh, then there's an RPG I love called uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth, and I've been playing the absolute <laughs> Jesus out of that. And um, I I had no idea I loved RPGs that expanded on Pokemon because I always thought that grinding Pokemon was slow because it's only just one Pikachu and you slap one Pikachu against one Pokemon over and over again, and it was maddening. But now there's three of them. You have three little bastards. And they're all so cute. Terriermon's the best thing. I knew nothing of Digimon. And all I want is, like, to bedazzle myself in Terriermon merch. That's all I want. And you know what? I think that'll be a good look for me. A man in his late 30s covered in Terriermon gear. That guy looks stable. Let's talk to him, right? 
Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, twitch.tv slash heymrrabbit. As for what I've been doing at the apartment, I've just been cleaning and uh, fixing a little bit of water damage on my wall. Um, oh, yeah, it got, it, it got so bad, one of the paintings fell off of my wall. Uh, destroyed the painting oh. utterly, uh, destroyed Aww. the frame, and now there is a hole in my wall. Oh, very no. Very Junji Ito, though. Do like it. But um, we it's got an accent. It, 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 It's an accent hole. Exactly, exactly. <sighs> the hole isn't made for me, though. It's not my hole. That hole is not made for me. Ah, the reference, uh, I get it. Hey, somebody knows Junji Ito in this house. Huzzah! Okay. Dude, we stand Junji Ito in this house. You know how many books of those I got so far? A lot. Oh, oh that anime coming out. But anyway, that's me. Yeah. That's me, yeah. All right. Lanny, we're going to find you. What are you up to? Hey, you can find me all over the internet at Lanny Pator, except Instagram, where it's Lan1Gram. Post a lot of workout pictures there. You can see that stuff. Uh, on Twitch, I'm currently playing through Hollow Knight. Uh, working our way through that before Psychonauts 2 comes out, which I'm super psyched for. Hollow Knight? Yeah, uh, turns out everybody that's been telling me that's good, you're right. I agree. I love, it's tiny, good. I love tiny, creepy bug game. I, 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 I really like my Metroidvania with my Bloodborne. You know, you got my chocolate with my peanut butter. It's it's really good. Oh, yeah. uh, so I'll, I'll probably be playing some of that. Uh, if not tomorrow night, then I'll definitely be continuing it on Tuesday, Wednesday, and onward. Because I, I feel like I'm getting fairly close to beating it. But it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Of course, on Monday, if you tune into twitch.tv slash Lanny uh, you can uh, catch... A few of us that are currently here, Caitlin, Connor, and myself, as well as our buddy Shadow Dancer Bob, yeah. we are in the midst of a campaign I like to call the Ties That Bind, and currently they are uh, trapped in the eldritch realm of, uh, you know, brain-sucking horror. So, uh, hopefully they can find a way out. It'll be uh, a good, uh, good time to see how that plays out. Will be this Monday. <sighs> Uh, five o'clock central time. Hope everybody's having a good one. Uh, that's hey. that's basically it for me. Woohoo! Woo -woo. Uh, Sarah, where can I find you? What are you up to? Uh, I'm on Twitter at Sarah with an H and with an E. Willia. Um, I've got nothing to show. Like so much. Just, uh... Oh, what? What? What do you mean? I've got nothing to show. What? I don't do believe you. you. Mean? Just nothing. Come out. Stuff will be coming out, but there's nothing I can talk about. Ah. She made some salmon soup that was really good. Yeah. Salmon soup? What? Yeah. You can, mm. Wait, you can make. Wait, you can. You, you, you can put salmon in a soup? Yeah, was you can make really soup good. out of anything. Well, yeah, I you can. Yeah, but was, I it like a, what, was it like a cream soup or something? Or? Oh, yeah, I added cream, but there's also a, there's also a uh, salmon rice and salmon ginger rice soup I want to try too, which probably is just like got low. Oh, salmon. that sounds so good. Ooh. Sounds so good. I've learned the yeah, concept no. of soft boiling salmon now, which was interesting. I had to guess what that meant. Oh, yeah. sir, we got to swap recipes. You did a swap good so job. Bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I quit my part time job, so. <gasps> that, how is that nothing? Ooh. That's not chilling. It doesn't, you don't have to, you could just talk about stuff you're excited about, woman. I guess I'm excited about it. I'm more terrified and have existential dread than anything else. I mean, I that's, that's the same thing. That's life, though. <laughs> that's, that's existing. That's life. <laughs> but that's what all the people but say. But that's exciting. Congrats again. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, it's not much to talk about. How, uh, mm, woman. <laughs> Look, Caitlin, do you want to come at me, bro? Come at I, me. You know where I, I live. I, that, that home, it's one I, flight of stairs, Caitlin. Come and get me. That whom I dead ass knew Caitlin had her hands on her hips, like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> You, Connor, where my people? <laughs> uh, well, when I'm not bearing witness to murder live, um, you can you can find me on on, on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube.com/slash Distortion Devil, where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. 
Uh, I'm playing a tabletop simulator. Uh, when I'm not doing that, I'm playing... Uh, just just picked up Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, so yeah. pray, pray for my eternal soul. Um, mm -hmm. Also, I'm playing uh, uh. Guilty Gear Strive. I am playing Yakuza 4 Remastered. Uh, getting close to the end of that one. Look, it. Bill, this isn't anything to do with you, okay? It's between me and Caitlyn. I have work to do, Billiam. <laughs> You'd probably help her. I think I just terrified Bill. Well, he did hear a door fling open and screaming, so I could get the concern. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> anyway. Connor, hit him with that bad AI dungeon. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. Me and Rabbit played AI dungeon uh, yesterday. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we, who murdered Arkolf and Cheru? We'll find out the next time we play AI Dungeon. What? Absolutely. Uh, it, it, oh we, we had a couple of magical adventures where uh, George Bailey from It's a Wonderful Life uh, had a Yakuza style shirtless duel with Tiengo the Red Death, and it was the most. It was a lot. <laughs> Watch the VOD. It was really good. Oh, yeah, that fight between George Bailey and Tango, that's canon now. That's canon. It's canon, oh, yeah. Will... Mm -hmm. It's canon. Uh, yeah, that's that's what's happening over on my channel. Uh, probably be playing some Wildermyth tomorrow. Uh, be sure to check out Dead House Sonata. Obviously, they got a bunch of really fun <laughs> stuff coming down the pipeline. Be sure to check out their website. If it at all entices <laughs> you, please... Purchase a Founders Pack. Uh, oh, by the way, I just I I, I realized yeah. that my, my my partnership got extended by a, a full year, so I'm gonna be showing Whoa. this for a long Woo. time coming. Huzzah! Huzzah! I'll get uh, the pun machine running. Excellent. Uh, and also no be problem. sure to check out my DMs Guild. Uh, tell us about that where I'm going to be releasing the Accursed Fighter subclass pretty soon here, basically as soon as I get the art. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, trust me. If you like, if you like Berserk, if, you, if you like Berserk, if you like Dark Souls, then this is the type of fighter that you would enjoy. Uh, it's based Does he drink Estus as a swift action? Uh, actually, it's based heavily off of the uh, of, off of the Cursed from Tales of Majrael. I want to hug you <laughs> so bad why you made it that's, that's one of my favorite games yeah, i know what? You, made, you made a class in one of my favorite games <laughs> uh that's all happening on my channel uh but on this channel we're sponsored by die hard dice uh, die and dice. i'm i'm, die I'm hoping dice. i'm hoping to roll plenty of uh, die hard dice tonight uh, because crazy shit is about to ha uh, happen. No. Um, Die Hard Dice has been our, our, they've been working with us for quite some time now. Got a lot of fun stuff coming down the pipeline. Uh, but for now, if you want to pick up a bunch of dice and dice accessories, then head on over to dieharddice.com. And if you use the code THEUNEXPECTABLES at checkout, you can get 10% off your entire order. Whoa. Which actually is pretty damn nice. And dudes that, and dudes and dudettes and all the non-besties, you have so many options dice to choose from. I went to that site myself. It is quite a freaking spread. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And with that out of the way. That hurt out of the way. Time to read off some bits and sibs. Hell oh, yeah. Uh, do it. I'm gonna go grab a drink. All right. King Kiwi2516, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, and Alvin, you're talking to yourself again. Man, what a freak, eh, Phil? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I know, I, I know I'm not crazy. What do you think, Shadow of Red Hand, lives in my mind, and also Phil? <laughs> oh, my God. Exactly. Feast on the blood of the innocents. Oh. <laughs> what can you do? That's trauma for you. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm in That's danger. trauma. Yeah. I don't rightly feel safe. <laughs> oh my god. 
King and commoners, give you the 100 bits. Get out your air fryers. It's time to toast us some ravioli. Hmm. Oh, I, because... for, for some reason. <laughs> For some reason, I don't think toasted ravioli, uh, air air fryer toasted ravioli, would be very appealing. But, no, it'd probably be good. Well, all the stuff Super. inside of it would get dry. Would it? That's because they don't know how to go ahead and fry that shit. I mm -hmm. think pan fried ravioli would be pretty it's, nice. Although it's been a the way long I time. Do, it would probably be like pierogies, so maybe it uh, wouldn't be anything. It's been a long time since I had l l like good toasted ravioli. I've always oh, had the frozen true. stuff, and it's kind of... Mm. Oh, you it, son, oh, you poor son of a bitch. I'm going to have to drag you to my fucking kitchen. It's edible. <laughs> uh, Sergeant Tucker, thank you for the 100 bits. You know what? Screw Raider Gang. Screw Super Mutants. And screw you, Jet. Oh. Uh, Zenlita, thank you for the 200 bits. Wait, episode 14? We missed our bar slash bot mitzvah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I'm back. Oh, yeah. God damn it, Lanny. You broke the wall again. Stellar Coyote, now, think of the one. Now, now is the whole shape like you? 100 bits. <laughs> no, it's shaped like me. Previously on Gateway, landmines, landmines, and now the continuing adventures of... Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, Zenlita, thank you for the 100 bits. Also, uh, I was just reminded that I didn't write an intro. <gasps> Honor. Honor, oh that means you're... Oh, my God. I knew I was forgetting everyone. something. I I forget to do that a lot. It shows. I knew I was forgetting <laughs> something. Shit. Uh, hey, what if we... We... Did a little pre-show show while Connor takes care of that, right? Oh, oh I'm gonna that read off the like rest of these. I'm gonna read off the rest of these bits and subs. All right, uh, and then we'll figure that out. Stella yeah, Coyote, thank you for the 100 bits. Previous. Oh wait, no, I already read that one. Zenlita, thank you for the 100 bits. Also, when Renoa is talking to a group, she's the centaur of attention. Okay, that's all. Carry on. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, big R not a puns. <laughs> Six one nine nine one. Thank you for the sixteen months. Can't wait for more wacky wasteland tomfoolery. Uh, Sergeant yep. Tucker, thank you for the one hundred bits. Highly recommend Axiom Verge one and two. Rabbit and Metroid Dread comes out in two months. Wow, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll look forward to Dread. I have a lot of ROM hacks of uh, Super Metroid, and I. I just actually found out there was an Axiom Verge 2, but I did play Axiom Verge 1 on my stream, and that game is weird. I love it. It's so weird. And everything looks like it was made in a Geiger movie. Oh. Um, I remember I had, like, shooty, uh, like, shooty snakes that came out my back. That was cool. Indeed. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the elite bits. Oathbreaker John, thank you for the 100 bits. So, first day being 31 years old and I cut my thumb with a very sharp knife. I wonder what today's episode will be like. Ow. Oh. Well, you can find out the name of the episode as soon as you apply some liquid bandage to that wound, homie. Mm. <laughs> An open wound causes infection. It's true. Death by Chair, thank you for the 100 bits. Hooray, Gateway! Hey, y'all, I'm currently writing up a Fallout Mexico campaign. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. And, was, and was curious what the wildest thing you could include in a setting like that. Um, uh, all, all, like, okay, a tequila factory, all of the worms got irradiated, and now they're huge and, like, monstrous, and they get, <laughs> and, and when they attack you, they get you intoxicated. You oh, Chupacabra! 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 That means... I forget what it means. Goat Chupacabra. sucker. Goat eater. Goat sucker. Goat eater. Goat eater. Oh my god. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think a lot of Mexico got destroyed in this universe. Oh. That's Um... Cactus ghouls. Mm -hmm. Get out of mm -hmm. uh, some research to do for later, but I think an interesting like that. 
or interesting setting like that, my brain skipped a few words, uh, would be oh, okay. pretty cool to work with. Yeah, no. I, I'm kind of curious uh, to see where you run with that, buddy. Well. What? My stream labs just reset. Excellent. Oh no! I hate no. that. Happens. Fortunately, oh. fortunately, I don't think I missed too many, uh, too many donuts. What were we on? Uh, we were on death by chair. Uh, Luke the Lucas, thank you for the fourteen months. Don't need vats for gateway to do critical damage to my work based boredom. Yeah. 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 Vex West, thank you for the one hundred bits. If gateway was made for the theater, would it be a gate play? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Gauze twenty one. So. Thank you for the one hundred bits. Chad Thundercock is a first rate duelist with a first rate oh. deck. <laughs> oh dear. Oh lord. Oh my. He'll take. He he takes. He takes all comers. Oh. Even the ah! even the even the <laughs> ugly and hairy ones. Mm. <laughs> but you're saying there's a chance. Oh yeah. Oh. The Friendly Grim, thank you for the 100 bits. I'm back to watching streams. I got my life back on track. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey good on ya. Print Equation, thank you for the 100 bits. I just got a new job, so now I can drop bits. Hey. Congratulations. Congrats. Yeah. Congrats, yeah. The, the Friendly Grim, thank you for the six months. I love being here. Aw, oh, shucks. No. Yeah. Constable yes. Mutton, thank you for the 100 bits. We now return to the Apex Survival Guide. On this episode, the Apex teaches you how to make a grappling hook out of your enemy's intestines and pelvic bone. The key is to also use some of the ribs. They are naturally hooked. I would think the clavicle would be a good choice. That is also good, but you have to break it apart first, and that can be hard for first-timers. Oh, my God. Well, you first try to tie it up. Apex <laughs> Louise, why y'all like this? <laughs> Alvin's just like got a grappling hook behind all of this. <laughs> I got this. Well, like, or well, we could use this. Or oh well, yeah, if you want to be uncreative about it, Alvin. It's made out of steel and rope and okay. And not <laughs> hard. It's a hard world out there. Hard, hard world. C. Vanders, thank you for the 100 bits. Planning to enjoy this stream with wine and cigars. Ooh. Oh, okay, all right. Nice. Are you sure you don't want to uh, enjoy this stream with scotch and smoke rings? Bub and bubble that, bath. That is a reference. Excuse I hope me, someone gets it. Right in the mic. Right in the I mic. do not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm oh, lost. Someone, on that in the, someone in the chat will get it. Someone in the YouTube comments will get it. I'm happy for you. There you go. Um, there you go. Oxford? We got a couple people. Yeah. My oh. ex used to, my my ex used to watch that, so I think I got it. Yeah. The cigar seller. I remember. Yeah. <gasps> the, the how can I help detective? That was him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm proud. I'm, I'm proud of you, Rabbit. I'm hip. <laughs> I'm hip. Oh my hip. Yeah. The joke is that Oxhorn is a Fallout lore expert, and he has a series called Scotch and Smoke Rings. Mm. That's a deep Oh, Breaker John, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, had already taken care of the cut, so no worries, though I'm seeing demons now turn to see a demon chanting something demonic. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, That's probably because you what used were you cutting? <laughs> a goat? <laughs> Oh, I, I see your problem. You cut the meat on the Ouija board. That's right. It, that's that's a Ouija board. That's not a cutting board, bro. I feel like accidentally nicking a goat would, like, since goat's blood seems to be the go-to for summoning demons, what if you had to, like, trim a goat and accidentally nick the goat and just the single drop of blood, like, summoned a terrible <laughs> demon? Uh -oh. And they're like, what do you need? And you're like, I was trimming my goat. I'm so sorry. I was trimming my goat, but while you're here, <laughs> could you, could you hold like, him down for me? He's yeah, being a little fussy. He's moving so much. He just looks down and goes, oh, oh, yeah, you need to, oh, you, Oh, those shears, no, those are the wrong kind of shears. You want a number four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder what alpacas will summon. Hmm. Oh, I don't, some fluffy, probably. Cthulhu. Fluffy demon. Yeah, some kind of fluffy demon. A demon of lint or something. The demon of 
<laughs> I don't know. I'm guessing here. I don't, I don't recall. Achilles nipple, thank you for the prime sub for 16 months. There it is. Protoss103, thank you for the 10 beds. Apex kill everything and then tie them up with body ropes. Oh, yeah, that did happen. No! That was a great night. You do not need to kill the... Th you do not need to tie up the things that are dead. Mm. Yet. <laughs> Gorilla Geek, thank you for the... 50 bits are Wasteland Wandering Misfits. Indeed. Mm, mm. Light Guy, thank you for the two months of Prime. And C. Vanders, thank you for the 100 bits. I prefer scotch, but wine is better than a radiated whiskey. That is true. I posit that, is that anything true. is better than a radiated whiskey. Yeah, mm. I know that one. I don't know. And with that... I think it's time that we settle on back into the world of Gateway. Of Gateway! Did you get a chance to write your intro? Uh, I did not, so I'm going to wait. it. We're already 22 oh, minutes that sounds, late. That sounds demonic. What? He must have cut a goat. <laughs> oh, Sorry, I happened. cut a goat. <laughs> Damn it. Narrator! Narrator, I told y'all, that summons demons! You wanna bring the Wrath of Marbus down upon us? We are 23 minutes late, so I'm going to wing it! Nice! That, that sounds fair enough. Where's the fucking... there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have the feeling we have the unreliable narrator. Just have Mr. Dalliard do it. Mr. Dalliard can be the unreliable one. There we go. When last we left the runaways, Cynthia, the synth nurse, Apex, the wild man of the wastes, Alvin, the former red hand turned mechanic, and Louise, the scavenger, the gang were exploring... The, God, the, the gang were exploring... The old Laughly Brewery uh, on the behest of the archers trying to employ their help in trying to free some slaves and get some answers over in Westport. Uh, however, it seems that the Laughly Brewery has been infested with members of Alvin's old gang, the White Razors. What will happen this time on Gateway? Well, Cynthia will step on a mine, that's what. What will come of that? Find out now on Gateway. Good heavens, ma'am. You appear to have stepped on a... I know. Anyone want to help out here? Yeah, well, don't worry, I got you. You don't so is, really is have the, is the, time is the, is for the this conversation. Still, is the, hold on. Is is the mine just beeping or is it going off now? The mine is going off now. Oh. All right. Um, Can someone roll to grab Cynthia and I, pull her back? We'll get to that in a second once I get my shit all okay. set up here. <laughs> just making sure everything is... All righty, Roo. I believe last time uh, you ended up. Yep, that's right there. Rolling two ones. Yep. That is unfortunate. So. Isn't it just? Can you tell me how much health you have left before this? Oh, it never got past my armor, and Alvin fixed my armor, so I'm. I'm good. Okay. I swear to God. What? My, my, ugh. I need to plug my mouse in. My Corsair device update available is just going off in my head. So I'm just going to plug that shit right in. Oh my goodness. Man, things are just going just swimmingly tonight. Oh, yeah, no. There's water. Yeah. Maybe these are so. secret signs that the game doesn't want you to kill us. Yeah. Yeah, how about that one? Huh? Think about that. Oh, wow. 
Uh, so you said you have all of your armor still? Yes. How much armor is that? Ten. You have ten armor? armor? Is, uh, armor is Cynthia's health. She's a synthetic. Right, right. That is correct. I, what? I thought that I had armor on top of my health. You wouldn't have ten armor. You would. Well, then I have ten health. <laughs> okay. So... Well, hang on. I'm 49 damage. Before you say anything else. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you a choice. Because uh I rolled really high. Oh, which limb is your favorite? So you can either take 9 damage. Oh dear. Or you could take three damage, but something bad will happen with lasting effect. Oh, dear. Wow, this is a Bef Dobson's choice. <laughs> Before that happens, uh, as the beeping is going off, can the Apex test his reflexes to try to pull Cynthia away? Even if that means sharing some of this damage. I don't think it's that. Be that would be a that would be a wits roll. I would say. Roll for wits, and let's just see what happens. Alrighty. That's a ten. It's a ten. Okay. Apex hears the beeps, eyes go wide. <clears throat> How are you... Are you just trying to push her out of the way? Are you trying to cover her with your body? Um, With the wits roll, I'm guessing I can tell where the beeping is coming from. The, the, wits, the, wits, the wits roll was basically your ability to act on your feet and perform under right, stress, and, basically. Uh, then my goal would be to essentially kind of like run up uh, grab her by the shoulder and kind of like do like a running spin trying to like take the blast to like the least vulnerable places but also trying to like kind of pull back and get away from where the beeping is coming from okay I'd say if you're going to do that uh It'd reduce the damage slightly, I think, in this scenario. So I'd say that because it was a success, it reduces the damage. So. And I'll split whatever remains of the damage if that's the ruling. Okay, so that leaves just seven damage and you can divide that however you will. Uh, or Cynthia can choose to reduce this even further. When you say lasting, we're about to go into a big fight. You can look what's behind door number two if you want to, but that's still a lot of damage on that table. Because when I open that door, I can't close it, right? Well, there's also a large explosion that just happened that alerted anybody in the area, so. Right. So I'm not, I'm not worried about being stealthy at this point. Yeah, I'll just... Man, this is hard. Choices. So many little how, how much would I how much would I be reducing the damage by? You'd be effectively having the remaining damage. So it'd go from seven to four. Oh It was nine to three before. It was no, it was nine to seven. Oh. 
Jiminy Christmas. Okay. We're, oh no, it was nine. It was nine to three before. Yes, right. you were right. So and now it's yeah, I'll 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 be nice to... and say if it's three between the two of you. But so, something, okay. but uh, but something bad will happen. Something yes. bad will happen to Cynthia. I'm okay to take. I'm I'm okay to take four damage. I know you are, but my issue is we haven't even touched the big bad yet. And you are squishy human, so the apex. Will pretend, the apex will pretend you didn't think that, <laughs> <laughs> right? But you are. So you have uh, meats. I mean, she. I purposefully dro drove through a table last. She session. stepped on a landmine, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take the lesser damage and the lasting effect. Already. Spokey dokey. To quote oh. Regis Philbin, the final answer. The future has come to pass. She made her yeah. choice. Right. Uh, <laughs> so and then, really then how terrified. do we want? Then how do we? Then how do we want to divide that damage? Well, it would only be three it's damage. Three damage right? split. It's three damage split between the two of you, being divided however you would like. So, Nick, you'd take one and I'd take two, like, logically, of this situation. That's fair. Okay. I'll take that to my health. So. Alvin and Louise. Uh, Louise more so. You have been in places that are filled with landmines. It's it's actually a pretty common sight here in the wasteland. So you recognize the telltale beeping. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. And before you can do anything about it, you, both you and Alvin, hear a <laughs> telltale explosion. Uh... The hurtling bodies of the Apex and Cynthia fly out of the room past you two. Uh, smacking against a nearby wall. Uh, Apex, you seem hurt, but not too worse for wear. Basically, the damage I took was breaking her fall, I'm guessing. You, you you got caught a little bit by some of the shrapnel from the, the landmine. Uh, yeah. But it you didn't get hurt too bad. You took most of it on, like, your shoulder and, and your upper back. Um, and, Cynthia, you seem to have... Be very fortunate in this situation. Uh, you... As, as the apex sort of rolls off of you, uh, you, your, your senses sort of re your eyes sort of like refocusing, uh, like a little, like a little digital, uh, distortion in your vision clears. Uh, and the first thing you see after apex rolls off of your lower half is that, uh, you only have one leg now. Oh, fuck. <sighs> you see Louise. the sort of sparks erupting from the stump of your leg and the destroyed piece uh, laying. Uh, it got shot like a couple of like a couple of feet away from you. Apex, grab it now. Apex grabs the leg. Uh, what is Alvin doing? Uh, Alvin, uh, run, a a Alvin's running over. Just, oh, oh my god. Uh, just, oh, oh. Alvin, Alvin, check her. Uh, Louise is gonna go to that door we just came in from the outside and start looking for something to bar it because she's nuts. 
She's not stupid. She knows that sound was loud. All right. Uh, you need to roll a wits for me. Uh, as you all hear, after a couple of moments pass between the explosion and uh, you all hear, whoever's over there, you better hope you're dead from that. And that's coming from the outside? Uh, that is coming from uh, another part inside the building. I still want to bar the door that we just came in, just in case. Go for it. Oh, I should probably open Google Maps just to get a uh, five. Also, Connor, which leg did I lose? Uh, it was your left. The whole thing or from knee down? From the knee down. Loss. So, what this will mean is if you're trying to do something movement based, there will be a penalty to your roll. There'll be a minus one. Okay. Until it gets repaired. Yep. Son of a bitch. Not great. Oh, I can't bar the store because I'm stupid. Uh, yeah. Uh, as you're... Okay. Hello? Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, as you're going to bar the door, sort of you you grab a chair and you try to hook it underneath the, like the door handle of the door. But right when you're about to, uh, the door gets kicked open and you see a white razor uh, leveling a shotgun on you all. Um, Cynthia Apex. immediately oh. shoot at, with whatever, cause she's obviously, she always has guns in her hands cause she's carrying a bunch of them. So she'd immediately shoot at him. All right. So you're, you're choosing to shoot at him. What's everybody else doing? Uh, Alvin, his eyes were like full of concern when Cynthia and Apex hit the ground and Cynthia's missing a leg. And he's about to go ahead and like go for his tool belt. But then he hears a door kick open and he just glares at the dude who's at the door and just snarls and just rushes at him just in a full punch right to his chest. Okay. And this guy's like right on top of me. Yeah, he is he's closest to you. He sees he sees you with like a chair in your hands trying to go for trying to go for the door. Uh my god. You my god. Uh the, the, you're the closest to him and and he's got a shotgun. Um well, I have a chair. I'm going to roll to smack him up with it. <laughs> Okay, oh. you're gonna hit him with the chair. I will, chair. Just, I, I will Give hit him the as chair. hard as I can to make that safe. I, I have a chair. With the chair. I will oh. assault this man with my. What kind of chair is it? Just like those fucking dinky stools. It's 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 like a wooden desk chair or something. Oh, yeah, good. you are gonna Bart Simpson him. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Hit him with the Bart. All right, I believe. Uh... Apex, what are you doing in this situation? Well, that doorway is looking really crowded, and we heard another voice coming from uh, further into the building, yes? A little bit further, yeah. Apex will start heading that way. Okay. He is You're... very angry. All right, so... Sorry, I'm doing math in my head right now. So, uh, Cynthia, you're first up. You're firing at him with, with, with like your pistol or something. Uh, D -d 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 -d. what would she have in her hands? She would have the rifles on her back. She would have a shotgun in her hands. Okay. So. Let's do a shotgun then. And that's a body roll, correct? Mm, uh, yes, that's a body roll. Okay. Pretty much all attacks are body rolls. Ten. Ten? Great. By yeah, God. you, by God, indeed, as you, uh, 
you See, your tr your training and your programming kick in at the same time and you reach behind your back and you grab your shotgun and you just immediately when the door opens boom, unleash a torrent of steel pellets uh that pepper the man's hips and chest and he staggers back he slams against the door Ugh! but he's still looking at he's still looking He's still looking like he's up. Alvin. And hmm? Yes! I was just going to say just a little flavor bit of, you know, she gets her leg blown off, door opens, guy comes in, immediately pulls out shotgun, shoots him, and then does the thing where she flips on her stomach and twists around forward, pulls out the rifle and steadies as the rest of them are going in. All right. Alvin. Yes. What are you doing? Oh man, we are going for that huge, how can I explain this to you? You know that like savage straight punch that Kiryu does in beast mode? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that to this man. <laughs> All right, roll body. Alvin is so pissed. <laughs> 10. Wow. All right. Fantastic rolls tonight. Uh, as you... Uh, as you just immediately rock towards this dude, you pull back your fist and you just cold cock him. You feel his jaw break underneath your fist. And he spins uh, right into Louise's chair, which you don't have to roll for, as you just bring it down on him. And like a bag of hammers, he goes down. Damn. The, the chair just comes apart in her hands and she sort of looks at the one piece left in her hand, throws it at his head and just goes, have a seat, fucker. In your head, it makes a funny little cartoon doom sound. <laughs> uh... That leaves the apex. You don't have to roll for it, but you are, in fact, moving further down. Uh, actually, go ahead and give me a wits roll anyway. Yeah, uh, apex is keeping mindful of other explodey balls in the area. Good thinking. That's an eight. Excellent. Yeah, uh, as, you're as you are storming towards the voices that you heard, you pause and you go, wait. And you think, what if there is more of them? And sure enough, uh, scattered in seemingly unobvious places with like, uh, like old newspapers strewn over them, you spot another one of these landmines. But that's the only and one I, you see. I know exactly what I'm doing. I take my rubber ball and I throw it at the landmine. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. So you, your, your rubber ball, you. Pull it out Jacob's of rubber ball. You pull it out of whatever you kept that in, and you My hug it. Pack. Oh yeah. Uh, you hug it towards the landmine, and sure enough, deet, 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 <laughs> explosion. You sort of raise your arm up to cover your eyes. Uh, you are unharmed, but now the hallway is covered in debris and dust for the moment. Louise is going to turn to Alvin. Alvin, let's bar this door before more of them come in. Yeah, y'all got it. And uh, I will assist Louise in uh, looking for stuff to bar the door with. Bars, okay. chairs, knocking over a heavy shelf in front of it. Anything. All right, so got you're it. looking for stuff to put in the door? Hmm? Yep. Did the rub? Oh, sorry. Did the rubber ball survive the explosion? <laughs> oh my god. Roll for rubber ball integrity. It would have bounced away, and it's, it's fairly true. light. It did have time to escape during the beats. I just mm -hmm. rolled for it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, you you don't see it, but you hear further down the hallway. Oh my god, it made it. I'll come oh. back for you. <laughs> uh, uh, bounce so. Bounce so. Bounce so the ball. He's the, he's the, the ball. newest member of our party. It's true. Oh, right, Mr. Dalyard's with you. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah, speaking of companions. 
I oh, thought we told um, him. I, th I, I thought he was like. I thought he was covering up high at a distance. Never yeah, mind. He, yeah, we told him to stay further. I told him to stay further back because he was getting. But I'll, he's inside right. with us, right? I'll be over no. here. Don't mind me. I think oh, I told him to wait out. Out. Actually, that like, raises a question. I'm waiting what? outside. Oh yeah, let him in before we bar the door. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought I thought he left the brewery entirely. Yeah, well, yeah, I told him to stay on the other side of the gate, I think. Oh. Like, no, I told was... him... Double no, never mind, I have side? fucked off completely. Yeah, he did, because he was getting really wrecked, because they were shooting the fuck out of him, and I didn't oh. want him to explode. Damn, if he has I shall wait. for bombs. I'll wait here. <laughs> at, the, at the front entrance. I didn't know we had... I didn't know Mr. Dalliard could use sending. So Mr. Dalliard yeah, he is not here. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah. Alvin, you are looking for something to put in front of the doer. What are you? Doer. Yeah. Uh, Louise, are you doing much of the same, or what? What's going on? Uh, yeah, I'll do the same if it helps assist. Okay. Oh nice. God, was that another landmine? C Cynthia Apex, uh, what are you guys up to? It's plasma variant. Uh, Apex is continuing his quest to uh, murder the interior. All right. Uh, and Cynthia, uh, now that the main foe is down, is army crawling towards her leg. Uh, I okay. I have the leg. You told me to take oh, the leg. Oh, it is currently right. it is currently in it is currently in my inventory. And she is army crawling towards Apex. It is. It, Who has it, her leg? You're it's right. Fanny so pack number four. You're following Apex. Oh, no, uh, it's, it's in Apex's hand. Louise will call out to both of them. Be careful. Don't Cynthia need to lose more body parts. Hand. Ugh. All right, so you are both making your way further into this yeah. facility. <gasps> Wait. I, uh, so I have a... How long is my assault rifle? How long? Yes. <laughs> How long are you is trying, it? Connor? Are you trying to make like a peg leg out of your gun? Is that what you're going for? Maybe. Are you going all grindhouse on me? Maybe. Awesome. Okay, so this will require if you're trying to make a peg leg out of your gun, out of one of your guns, this will require a smarts roll. Okay. To basically just measure out what you need in order to be able to walk effectively. Let's do a smarts roll then. Nine. Okay. Uh. I guess I'd have to use my sawed off shotgun if it's below the knee actually. <laughs> Uh, you, so what you do is you, basically you just, while Alvin's looking for something to bar the door with, you reach over, uh, to his tool belt and you just grab some electrical tape or something and you take your saw, your sawed off shotgun is what you're using. Yep. Uh, and you are just basically taping this thing to your stump. Uh, yes. It it takes quite a bit of time and effort, uh, but you effectively have a a peg leg now. You can. Oh, my God! You can Hell walk yeah. semi normally, but you'll still have your penalty for a little bit until you get used to it. Uh, would there be that much time since I'm not human? and wouldn't need to adjust. Cybermine. Yeah. Auto-adapting. Ones and zeros. Can we make, I guess can you that make fast on friends programming. with your new leg? That's, that's... Linux. You... You are a machine, yes, but you do have... You know, Limitation. You, you, you Dang. do have the mind of a regular human and you would still need to, you know, because you're, you know, you've been walking on two feet your whole life and suddenly having a, a weird 
you know, having to adjust for not having a foot is strange. So you keep your penalty for a little bit. Okay. Uh, just for extra flavor, she opens Alvin's box, gets the electrical tape, is like, wow, 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 like winding the thing on, and then picks up her leg, like, <laughs> again, I still have bullets. it. Or, or no, well, you gave oh, it. Oh, got you. Your peg leg. Right. My peg, my peg leg now, not mm -hmm. my new leg currently. Uh, she'll reload bullets in, cock her leg, and then shoddily like stand up. This will do. Okay, hey, as, as you slowly make your way to your feet, uh, you, it you keeps feel the safety on just in case, but yeah. Foot, foot and barrels. Leg okay. a second. I'm just trying to think of how this would help you. Other than having yeah, a, could... a sick shotgun leg now. Yeah, she can do a yeah, power right, spine and yeah, fire totally out rad. of her leg. You know what? I'll just go ahead and say that you 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 don't have your movement penalty for now, but you've yes. elect you've electrical taped your sh a shotgun to your stump. It's yeah, not gonna I have. It's not gonna hold up to too much, you know, scrutiny. But for now, you think it'll. it'll to be, be fair, I am a nurse, and I know how to put things together in a very effective manner. I'll, I'll say you've you've held off on your penalty effectively for the rest of this combat. <laughs> All this right, isn't I'll the this it. isn't the this isn't the first shotgun you've attached to a stump. You know what? <laughs> you are correct. All right, Alvin, you are looking for something to barricade the door with. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and Eddie. roll wits. Wits. Louise is getting the hell me. Six. Oof. Uh, Louise, you go ahead and roll as well. Okay. Eight. Okay. Um, as you go looking for more stuff like chairs to try and bar this door with, uh, Alvin's looking around. He's obviously a little bit frazzled, um, but uh, eventually you do manage to sort of hook up a little bit of a system uh, to bar the door, and you hear a <laughs> behind it. Open this thing up! Oh, fuck no. Uh, it seems to be holding for now, but it's it doesn't look like it's going to be too much longer before they break that thing down. But you've bought yourself some time. Alvin, next room, chop chop. Yeah, no problem. Right behind y'all. So, Apex, you are out there and you are I've just cleared out, look, look, cleared out a landmine. Cleared out a landmine. What are you doing now? You're looking for dudes, looking for more mines. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm keeping my wits about me in terms of traveling down these hallways. Uh, how course. far away did his voice sound? Sounded like he might be... Sounded like it might be, like, halfway towards the end of the hallway that you guys are in. I can so continue not towards there. Yeah, not terribly far, but, but yeah, some distance. You continue there. Go ahead and roll me wits. That's a seven. Okay. That's still a success. I'll be at a moderate one. Um. As you're sort of wandering down this hallway, keeping your wits about you, you. Okay. You you walk towards you walk towards the doorway and you you think you hear something on the other side and you for a brief moment uh forget about the landmines here and you hear a deep 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 and you you I... back off quickly you back off quickly from the sound and it goes deep 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 uh it doesn't go off uh but you hear from the other room they're coming Uh, as it was beeping, did I catch where that beeping was coming from? It seems to be, uh, hiding in the shadows underneath a chair. And, uh, this chair is close to the door? 
Yes, it is. It is sitting right outside. What materials is this building made out of? A uh, bunch of. Uh, on the inside, it's a bunch of like cement walls. On the outside, it looked like it was all made of like red brick. Uh, gotcha. This, so, it's, so, it's, this is, so it's not so it's so it's not drywall. This stuff right, is built to last. Right. Even by even by your standards, this is probably a fairly old building. Mm -hmm. uh, how do some of the walls look around where some of those other mines blew up? They look like they're they've sustained some damage on the outside. Uh, nothing. Nothing looks like it would be structurally uh, compromised. Not yet. Okay, so there's. Way. So it doesn't look like there is a space that I can Kool Aid man my way through and just freak these guys the fuck out. It doesn't appear to be. Damn. Ah, there's that plan out the window. Um, for now. Let's see. What else do I have on me? Uh, this chair. How close to the door is it? It is. It. It's literally sitting like like a foot next to the door frame. <laughs> Okay, uh, if that's the case, <laughs> I am going to... About a leg's worth, half a leg's worth. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to take out a chunk of rad roach meat and just huck it at that mine. Okay. Um... Yeah, all and right. And if the mine goes off, I am going to scream. Like, you know, I just got blasted. Okay. Then I started blast. <laughs> All right. Um. All right, well, while, while he's doing that, what's everybody else doing? Uh, so I am... Oops, yeah, go ahead, Alvin. Yeah? You sure? Well, uh, I mean, I was going to say, um, before we go into this room too far, since, um, is, is it clear, the dust cleared a little bit in this room that we're going through now, since the first mine, the second mine went off? At this point, for you guys, it would be clearing up a bit now. Uh, can Apex I roll... just kind of walked through it. <laughs> I, I want to roll just to make sure that, you know, there aren't any other mines left over. Unless, unless you can tell me if this one mine going off would have set off anything else. Judging from... Apex, if you're following Apex, judging from his path, you can probably tell that he took care of the only landmines that were in his direct path. Which is so in that you, little L-shaped room. Yeah, you... Yeah, you could... You feel safe in that following Apex's path, there will be no more mines. Turn to Alvin. I think we should bar this door, too, and give us a little more breathing room. Yeah, no, I got y'all. And uh, I will look to bar this door as well. All right. So you're both looking to bar that door? Mm -hmm. Bar door. Bar that door. Bar that door. The, uh, what are you up to? Um. So behind us is the barred door. Apex is down the hallway. Mm-hmm. And there are guys on the other side of the door, correct? Sounds like it. Currently, we are flanked in terms of positioning. As long as those guys don't get through that first barred door, we're okay. Now, when you say hallway, is that the L-shaped thing? Or is it that little sliver of, of room that's in front of the L? If you're talking about this green square, I was just marking where we were going to uh, find the one dude. The feller. Can I do that thing where you do the little pinpoint thing that's like this spot? How do I do that? You just hold. You just oh, hold, you hold down your click. mouse button. Yeah, hold down left click. Like, uh, no, that's not it. Uh, select. There. Is that where Apex is? Uh, Apex is is sort of right around here. So okay. we are. Go and me and Alvin are, go are barring this white door. I assume that's what I was trying to do. Sure. Found the good domain. And and what's Cynthia doing in all this? 
Cynthia's just like following her leg with Apex. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's got a rifle out. She is obviously can't feel anything, but she's really pissed. So she's just holding on to her rifle like I wish a motherfucker would. I wish they would. I'm, I'm gonna find whoever we need to find right now and shoot him in his goddamn face. Alrighty. He has frozen violence. You are you are ready to shoot someone in their goddamn face. Yes, I am. Oh, I didn't know my red hand persona was contagious. Oh yeah, very. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Louise, Louise suddenly feels like the sane one in the group, and that's an odd feeling. <laughs> Louise has a moment of clarity. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, then Apex, you are throwing some rad roach meat at the mine. Yes. Uh, you're not attacking anything. It is still it's still hand eye coordination, though. I'd imagine so that it would still be body. It is hand eye coordination. So sure, we'll go for body. All Yeet. right. Oh shit. Meet with oh mine. shit indeed uh as you as you reach into your pack as you reach into your pack and, and you you pull out the rad roach meat you lift it above your head and you you toss it and as it's about to leave your hair leave your hand you hear <laughs> and oh. uh no. what just a Zephyr brief roach. A, a brief moment of distraction from inside of the room uh, causes your aim to just be completely off and uh, your red roach meat now just uh, sits. It's got a little bit of gray hair sticking out of it. That's weird. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm not gonna... my God. Well, I'm uh, not going to eat that now. Yeah, it's uh, that, that, that piece of red roach meat has been uh, thoroughly contaminated now. It is just, just wasted. Damn. Uh, but nothing well, else. That was my. <laughs> nothing else really bad happens. You just lost your. I mi I, I missed the mine. <laughs> oh my you hear a, god! You hear a and you hear people in the in the room going. They're throwing rat roach meat at us. They have very good ears. I was gonna say. Well, they're <laughs> also probably looking out the uh, out of the door into the hallway. <laughs> Are they? Because they're gonna get shot if they even put they're not, an eye they're not around the corner. They're not peeking out of the door. They are looking okay. from inside the room out of the door, and they see a piece of radroge meat fall right in front of the doorway. Oh, I see. I see. I see. <laughs> oh, so that door is open. That door is open. That might have changed my strategy, but never mind. I I, I did what I was doing. Jeez. All right. So, uh, that means Alvin and Louise. You're looking for something to bar the door. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, Wits, okay. both of you. You got it. Oh, it's coming. Eleven. Cool. Nice. I mean, does he need me? I mean, if you, if I you... always need you. Go oh. ahead. And, go ahead and roll That's it. Seven. It's all right. It's okay. not bad. It succeeds. Alvin's uh, got the brunt of it. As as you uh, Alvin uh, are looking at this doorway, uh, you notice that it's it's one of those it's one of those double doors, Thank you. like uh, the executive double doors. They're like like, like a like a hall like a. Not not like executive double doors. It's more like just two of these doors, but attached to each other for like a wider. Oh entrance yeah, or something. no, I know what you're, I know what you're yeah. shooting at. Like and, like library and, doors and shit. Okay, you're right. Yeah, and you and you look around briefly, and your eye catches the glint of metal from uh, a link of chain on the floor, probably from one of the white razors. And you reach down, you grab it, uh, and Cynthia holds the other end, and you thinking quickly, just wrap the chain around the do the door handles. Uh, and from the other end of the hall, you hear a as, uh, your temporary, uh, your temporary 
solution for the door uh, a bit further back seems to have given way, just judging from your uh, judging from your hearing. But this seems much more sturdy. Uh, so right, this, this door is thoroughly chain shut. All right, yeah, this will buy us a lot more time. Good job. Okay, what do we got? All right, what do we got? All right, as soon as we get all these, as soon as we get past this, I can go ahead and try to fix up Cynthia's leg. We gotta get in here. We gotta go ahead and find that feller. Apex points at the mine under the chair. Uh, mm. where is it at? It's close to the door. You said. Yes. yes. Uh. And there are guys that are just on the other side of it that saw the rod roach meet land. Correct. Correct. Yeah, we so, can't see. We can't. Um, we can't see into the door without getting past that mine. Right. right, right, right. That, mine, that mine is next to the open door. Like that blast Which, radius is there, right? Mm-hmm. Which would affect the guy, like based on what we heard, are they close enough where the blast radius would affect them? Probably not. I, I, no. I can't imagine that tactically they would do that. Uh, no, the, but they, the, the, but the, mine is, the mine appears to be set up uh, right outside the door, so anybody coming in would have to walk past it. Okay. Yeah, and they appear to be, they, they appear to be a bit further into the room. However, if we can get that mine to go off, it could create a quick smoke screen to allow somebody to, say, charge in and catch them by surprise for a moment. I have one other thought, but I have to confirm Connor on it. Hmm. How fast do those mines go off? Like a three beep kind of situation? If It's a proximity thing, isn't it? If it's a, They're proximity-based mines, so if you're being... If you're being cautious and if you're fast enough, uh, you could probably you could probably walk past it quickly without without setting it off. If you're fast enough. Well, my thought was, could someone conceivably kick it into the room before it Would went you... off and have it go off with them? You're going to kick the landmine. <laughs> I'm I'm running scenarios. <laughs> I mean, you could try. I mean, uh, Louise is crazy enough is. to do it. Honest, honestly, oh. my old, uh, honestly, my like, if I knew the door was open, my idea probably would have been to grab the landmine and throw it as quickly as possible into it'd, the room. It'd be a, it'd be a fun new opportunity to test out my limb crippling mechanic. Yeah. What if Cynthia? Uh, there, 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 there's, a, there's actually a whole system for it in the game. Honestly, if Apex. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! It's a risk. It's I'll a risk. I'll go look up that reward. one. <laughs> Man, after uh, this encounter with all the landmines, what's the intro for next gateway gonna be? Cynthia, the legless nurse, Apex, oh. the armless wild man. Oh my it's, god! I mean, it's a gamble. It's either destroy it safely, but have like a couple of guys to deal with still, or use it to hurt said guys and hopefully have less of them to deal with and have the mine yeah. be gone. Uh, you know what? If Apex pointed out the mine, Cynthia probably from being pissed would have immediately shot it with the rifle okay you're shooting the mine yeah I'm uh, shooting as, it. As, as soon as soon as there is smoke apex is charging into that room and yeah. just wolverine diving the first guy he sees okay oh yes yeah so body roll right uh what's 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 alvin and louise doing in response to this uh let's see Barring, we've already barred the door, which benefits our favor. So, the only other thing I can imagine is, if this works the way Cynthia wants it to, I want to join in with Apex, and whatever he's going to go ahead and be, like, wolverine -ing. I want to go ahead and be... Hold on. Which X-Men do I want to be? Sabertooth. I want to be Sabertoothing the thing left to him. Ooh. Oh... Um, I mean, if I see Cynthia level her rifle at that mine, I think I'm going to get the gist of what she's going to go for. So, um, I'm not going to Wolverine style like these two, but my plan would be to, they go in first, I'm going to get up to the door frame after they go in and, and basically take up a flanking position so I can shoot inside the room. 
Okay. So you're you so you're going to be shooting inside of the room as well. Well, though, I'm going to let Cynthia do the mine first. And if that works and Apex and, Al yeah, Apex no. and Alvin go, then I'm going to go and sh be in a position to shoot inside the room. But I'm not going to go in the room. That'll work. Uh, all right. So, Cynthia, you're shooting the mine. Go ahead and roll yep. your body for me. Seven. Okay. Um... So yeah, sure enough, you 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 wing the top of the mine with your with your uh, rifle, and it just goes off immediately. Um, it definitely kicks up a lot of dust. Apex immediately dives through the dust. Alvin will charge through the dust. He he can't pounce like the apex. Yeah, Louise is just going to give them a little bit of a head start before she sidles I'm, up to the outside, I'm, outside of that door. I'm going in low and I'm looking feral. Like, what comes through that dust cloud is not going to look human to them. All right. Body. Watch out for All his right. body rolls. Watch out Watch for his out body for rolls. His body rolls. High body roll. Kick. Three, three, three. That's a nine. High kick. Nice. High kick. This is how he this does it. That's how we do it. <laughs> so... Uh, the man, uh, the man in front of you, uh, just sees this form coming through the smoke, uh, this horned form just barreling towards him. Uh, he manages to get it, uh, a combat knife out of his belt and he slashes up at your shoulder and you take two damage. Uh, all right. And then he takes Cynthia's leg upside his jaw. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you just... My leg! With... My leg! You have a new leg now, it's fine. This strange, weird, pale, rubbery stump of a foot. You just crack him across the jaw and he stumbles back into some old broken terminals. Uh, and he shakes his head, he looks dazed, but he is not down for the count, not yet. So all these guys have dosed up already, gotcha. Yes. All right. Uh, Alvin, you follow quickly behind as the one and only red hand bursts forth from the smoke behind Apex. There are three people in this room. Oh, beast! I could have said beast to his Wolverine. God damn it, anyway. <laughs> um... Let's see, let's see. Yes, dude on the f dude on the far left, uh, red hand will just point at that one and just run and just. We're gonna go ahead and do like a, like a choke slam. Like I'm gonna wrap my hand around his throat and I'm going to slam him. All right, roll for body. Body eight. Excellent. Uh, yeah, you. Uh, you managed to pick him up. Uh, you managed to pick him up and by his throat, and you, and you lift him up off of his feet and just by his neck slam him down. He goes through the table by God, uh, but uh, he he sort of struggles with a pistol in his hand and he he fires it off and it doesn't hit you, but the muzzle flash uh, sort of scorches the back of your fist and you take one damage. Uh, All right. Let's see. Oh, hey, I have you. Oh, you said something different about the shield mechanic. I'll I'll, I'll talk later about that. Anyway, so hmm? one damage. You got it. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. Remember we were talking about. Oh no, we we're talking about breach. If I have something that says shield one, does that reduce one damage to no damage, or does it that, reduce it to a minimum? It reduces one? one damage to no damage. Correct. So I take no so damage. You mm -hmm. would not take any damage in this situation. Woohoo! <laughs> you yeah, so, did so. it! Oh, what are you saying? Hot damn. Oh, nothing. Oh, oh, nothing. I was just asking about mechanics and whatnot. Oh, I was talking to Lanny. Anyway. Oh, okay. Hi, Lanny. Okay. I'm Hello. <laughs> Were you saying something? Oh, no. No, I was just... Uh, okay. I, I, I was... 
clarifying that, yeah, shield is damage mitigation. Yeah. I love how overly polite you're being in a combat situation. All right. Uh... <laughs> Uh, again, your guy, your guy doesn't look down for the count either, uh, Alvin. Uh, but Louise, you peek in through the doorway and you level your weapon. Who are you shooting at? Shot. You shooting at uh, Alvin's guy? Uh, uh, I'll aim for Apex's guy. Okay. Shotgun. <laughs> oh, missed fire. Oh no. Hmm. Looks like. Well, at looks least like... it wasn't. At least it wasn't two red ones, right, Connor? <laughs> right, 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 right. I, That's I, true. I feel like I need to re-roll because every single roll I have done tonight has had a one. Hmm. Every single one. It's possible. Uh, all right. So what happens here is, uh, as as you level your shotgun through the smoke, the man. Uh, behind you just sees two huge dudes rocking through the smoke. So he's sort of like half paying attention to Apex and half looking at the doorway. And he sees you peek in with your shotgun and he manages to shift his weight and he brings you with him, uh, Apex, uh, <clears throat> as, they, as you both duck out of the way of the pellets. Uh, but he... This man uh, saved my life! <laughs> He was he was more he was more trying to save his own, but uh, yes, it, it, in effect, you avoid the damage here, and he uh, he he takes you down, and then he st springs back to his feet. He pushes you away, uh, and he flicks the combat knife towards you, Louise, and you take uh, you take two damage. All right. So he so doesn't last. have so he doesn't have his knife anymore. He just threw his knife. Yes. So now he what a for the, <laughs> for the what moment a is damn fool. He's yeah, high. that hits, that fucker hits Louise in the shoulder. She sort of rears back. Oh motherfucker! Roll in ricochet. Ricochet. All right. Roll strange. Oh boy. Wait, that that works Eleven. even on a miss. Thank you. That works even on a miss. Uh huh. Wow. Damn. <laughs> uh, and as. It, <laughs> As he tosses his knife towards you and he he, he hears it sink into your shoulder, he's like, ha, take that. And now for you. And then uh, you hear that the telltale ricochet sound as uh, a pellet catches a corner and just apex. You just get splattered with like blood and gray matter <laughs> all across her mask. Oh. Louise, Louise narrows her eyes and whatever fucking weird ass physics she has control of at the moment, she's gonna hit for again. Cause I rolled okay. plus Whoa. ten. And you're oh rolling again. God. Eight. Still Ooh. success. Okay. Uh, there is one un there is one unharmed person and Alvin's person as well. Uh oh right, I get uh I just get to choose a different target. Uh oh yeah, I mean I'll choose Alvin's target. Okay. Uh, and as the, the debris from, uh, this, this guy was sort of wearing like, like one of those German style World War One helmets where it's got like the big spike on top. As his head just like explodes out from underneath that, the helmet flies off and it goes, uh, and uh, as the guy's, as the guy's leaning up from the broken rem remnants of the table, he just, ching, takes the spike right in the eye and he goes down. Oh my god. Louise very calmly goes back <laughs> for, behind the door frame, pulls that fucking knife out of her arm and just sort of is like... <sighs> okay. She's gonna keep that knife, by the way. It's hers now. Alright. Till has deemed it so. Oh my god. Uh, there is one person left in this room. Alright. Uh, Cynthia. Okay, so Cynthia shot the mine and everyone, like, bum rushed the door, right? Uh, that appears to be correct, yes. So, since she has the rifle on the strap, She's going to walk forward, lean on the door frame, lift up her leg, steady it, 
and get ready to shoot the last guy. <laughs> You're getting ready to shoot the last guy, okay? With a shotgun shell, yes. Should I uh, roll or wait? Um. I mean, if there's something you want to do before you fire. Yeah, well, no, I just didn't know. Everybody's, everybody's taking their actions uh, during the last turn, so okay. this, would be, this would be a fresh start, so, so wait on that. What's everybody okay. else doing? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Mm. Apex is, like... Apex wants to tackle the guy and restrain him. We need information. Okay. I know slightly less what I'm going to do now since Lanny said that. <laughs> okay. Um, that, that's, that's above game. If Alvin has a different idea. Oh, I was going to go ahead and grab the... Uh grab the helmet that uh, killed the guy and I was gonna pie and I was gonna like pie tin it spike first into the dude <laughs> like full force just boom with the helmet like Captain America shield style yeah just like grab it by one end just the spike on the top of the helmet is a business end and just wing it with all his might just while holding it just full force smashing it into the guy Just El Kabonging the dude with the helmet. Alrighty. So, I believe that leaves Louise? What are you doing? Um, I mean, I pretty much will do what I did before. I'll just wait for Alvin and Apex to do their thing, and then I'll pop off some more shots if necessary. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with Cynthia. Okay. Since she was the first so, to speak up. Yep. So the smoke's clearing, and Robo Woman with shotgun leg comes in, leans on the door, and shoots seven. Okay. Uh, you... So you... You sort of... You sort of, you hop over towards the door frame with your, with your leg in your hand and you... And you pull, you pull the trigger and you're not quite expecting... Uh, you're not quite expecting the recoil from your leg and it basically just blasts you off your feet. You hit the floor and you take one damage. No, I, w I was uh, using the door frame to account for the kickback. That's what I mean by leaning on it. Ah. Yeah, but with the seven, that's the... Uh... Oh, you, you gotta I still take get damage, damage either way. Yeah. Yes. You, you take damage regardless. Just like spin me off the door frame like, oh, fuck. This, this guy was not ready to fight. He does not have any weapon trained on anybody, it seems. He sure okay. doesn't. Uh, and uh, with that shotgun blast, you just, you, Apex, you just see him littered with uh, with pellets and he, <laughs> uh, and he rolls over and he falls onto a chair and he's down. Yeah. That's what I was worried about. I was worried he was the guy we were looking for. Is he down dead or just down unconscious? Oh, he is dead. Uh. As the as the dust clears, uh, Alvin, you hear the chains rattling on that door that you locked up, and you don't think he's getting through that anytime soon. Uh, but that that battle did cause a lot of noise, and you're not sure if anybody outside heard it. So Apex just walks up to him. Shit! 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 Uh, Apex is going to try to stabilize his bleeding wounds. Okay, that would be smart. Which I don't have a lot of, but I'm running for it. Unless you have a stim pack. I do. I'll use that. Okay. As you walk up to him, uh, you pull a stim pack out of your pack and you... You hear the, the hiss of the, uh, of the syringe and he... And he... I, gr he I, gr I grab him and I'm just holding him by, and I'm grabbing him by the throat. Do not make a sound. Why? Why did you save me? 
Because we need information. Okay. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. I let go of his throat. <clears throat> you run security for this place. Um, uh, uh, I, I help the gang out sometimes. I'm pretty smart. Yes or no? I mean, yeah. That's, yeah. I, I got the, I, I set, I set up the mines, I set up the turrets. Cynthia walks over with her shotgun leg and glares at him with, like, red eyes. Uh, Apex, a a Apex, Apex hands you your leg, which now has a bit of blood stain, which now has a few blood stains on it. Yeah. Staring at the guy, <laughs> she takes it from him, and just slowly puts it at her side. Louise grins and cocks her head towards Cynthia. That's your fault. I think you owe us. You can start by telling us where the turrets are controlled from. He looks around at this group of weirdos in front of him. And he just sort of leans back and he points towards uh, an active terminal uh, that he appeared to have been sitting at before all of this crazy shit started. Very good. Now, you can continue to help us by reversing their programming. What? Target. Target. The ones you work for. Oh. Um. I can undo what that stim pack did, and I can do it a lot slower. Rolling to oh. intimidate. Okay, <laughs> you're rolling to intimidate. Fuck it, six. And I can do it a lot slower. <laughs> you just slip on some gore. I can do it. <laughs> and I, sure. yeah, I, 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 tri I trip on the Kaiser helmet and I can do it a lot. Wait, you're asking me to, you're asking me to kill the people who've helped feed me. Like I'm, well, I'll shut them off for you, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to turn the turrets on them. My ass hurts. Well, there's a question. Hey, Alvin, is that good enough for you? Or do you want to try taking a hand at convincing our new friend here? Well, and uh, I'll uh, lean down at him. What razors fed y'all, huh? I mean, you're the real red hand. You know what I'm talking yep. about. You know, we do what we do, because we gotta. There's a lot more people up north that'll help you out. Archers, you know who they are? Yeah, archers. They've been kicking our asses for weeks. Suddenly, they hole. just all back off. Honestly, we were yeah, preparing for a fight with them. We weren't expecting whoever you people are to show up. <laughs> yeah, well. I'm telling you what, this new setup, this ain't looking too hot anyway. Why are we all setting up here anyway? Y'all make the new drugs up here? What is it? What's the game? Uh... Clear to me, it's clear to me there's been a lot of changes that I've been gone. And he'll thwack his fist up against the desk, or what's left of it. You feel me? <sighs> hmm. <sighs> Maybe. I don't know. All I was told was take the facility, take the brewery. And we did. That's all I know. Well, I know where the main filler is up at. What's your opinion of him? I mean, it's yeah, in his name. psycho. It's in his name. He freaks me out. He's at least sadistic, to say the least. 
Well, if you don't feel like changing the protocols on the White Razors, change the protocols on him. Make him the damn target. It's clear to me he's a mad dog anyway. Madder than Jed, even. And that's a bad problem. Mm. Sure, we're a pack of wolves. What happens when those wolves go feral and rabid? Uh, I need to explain to you what happens then. I don't think I can do that. Mm. Why not? That's just not in the programming. I set it all up pretty quick. I didn't really program it the way that, you know, doesn't target individuals. It just... It just, just targets does, everyone. It just doesn't... Tar it just doesn't work like that, all right? That's fair enough for me. Is, well, he, tell you what. is he lying? Uh, he's not lying. Cool. So if you set it up in a hurry, why are the Watt Razor's not being targeted by it? Couldn't you just switch the protocol from, Watt, from whoever's not a Watt Razor to Watt Razor? Well, I can't. I can't make or it target just I can't make it target specific people. I can only make them target people who aren't, you know, us. Mm. It just fires on everyone who isn't us. And you refuse to reverse it. I can shut them off. That's the best I can do for you. Cynthia's going to go over to the terminal and start seeing what she can understand about it. Okay. Um, he, he sort of looks between everybody and he just sort of leans over the keyboard real quick and he types in his password. J-E-L-L-Y-F-I-S-H. Jellyfish. Yeah. What's that all about? Password. Hmm. Do you even know what that is? I saw one on a poster once. I think hmm. I think the zoo has some like exhibits. Or at least they did before. Ah, never mind. They did. She yeah. says really flatly and then just looks at the screen and starts seeing what she can do to uh like, is it that complicated to reverse things? And can she do it without his help? Roll smarts just to see what you can do here. Uh, I'm going to turn on some ambience real quick. Hey. It sounds good to me. Five. <laughs> Oof. We started off so well. You hear the computer go beep, beep, beep. No, fuck it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn it all to hell. <laughs> Four sessions later, there's a rad roach. Walks up. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Sorry. God. Plant, planting mines on rad roaches. That would be... Don't give him ideas, Lanny! Uh, I'm, still waiting for the dog. I'm still waiting for the dog that kills everyone. You're not really familiar with the way that turrets would be programmed. That wasn't really a part of... Uh, your either your military training or your your programming back at the institute. Uh, this whole like you know like track like combat tracker chips and stuff like that. This is this is beyond you. Uh, you do, however, looking over the looking over, you see a couple of options. You see stuff to uh like override targeting and stuff like that. And you also have an off switch basically. Hmm. I have a thought. Uh, Louise is going to kind of crouch down next to this, this guy and cock her head at him. Just sort of like, you're both like weirdly loyal and yet not. What's, what's that about anyway? <sighs> what do you mean? I mean, you don't seem that loyal to these guys, yet you don't want to kill them, even though these guys are, well, as my friend put it, becoming rabid dogs. 
But a trained dog will not bite the hand that feeds it. And? Plenty of people in your lifetime can feed you. Plenty of people in your lifetime can clothe you, do good for you. Doesn't mean you're beholden to them, especially when they're fucked up like this. So why are you so beholden to them anyway? Just because well, they fed you? Well, look, it's just because I've been with them for a long time, all right? Do you like these people? Some of them. They're not all crazy. Hmm. How about this? We've got a bead on a few of the, your turrets around here, but um, are there any in the city? In the, any in the vicinity or big bad boy? Um. Well, I don't know where the I don't know where the boss is right now, but where is he likely to be? Clock tower, maybe. You got a turret there? No, the only I. Um... If you saw him coming in, I've only got like, what was it, like four? They're all pretty much around the center of this entire place, the brewery. Remind me, the clock tower is that one with the little blue spot on it? Yeah, it's the X. All the orange dots are where the turrets are. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, that plan doesn't really work unless the turrets are better placed. Look, I get what you're I get what you're trying to do. And like if you let me go, I'll turn the turrets off for you, but You already you know, let us in the computer, we can do that ourselves. Right. So what do you have to offer now? You said you got friends, right? Yeah, some of them. What if we made you a deal? You do what we want, you switch it, or at least teach us how to switch it so we can target the White Raiders, but we will let you go and we will give you time to go gather the people you want to escape. Make you get them out, roll. we turn, we, you, you get them out, we turn on the turrets after. Make a charm roll. Oh god, it's my worst one. Uh, this is not gonna go Come on, well. use that patented Louise smile. <laughs> and that's why she has a really low charm, is because of that patent Louise smile. Oh, I'm not gonna roll the minus, I'll just figure it out. Uh, ten! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. Oh my god, you moved the mic. Ten, ten, ten. Ten! Oh my god. He, he, he sort of parks down in a, in a nearby chair real quick and he looks like he's considering something. Apex is just picking shrapnel out of his shoulder. Oh, yeah. yeah. For what it's worth, sorry about that, I guess. But, you know, landmines are there for a reason. Eh, bruises all around. Though. I do not begrudge the porcupine its quills. I think I heard about those, too. Huh. Uh... What Fuck if I get the deal? Oh. Are we... Are we pretending Cynthia I'm... didn't say that because I... he agreed? I'd like to hear oh, everybody's no, I... options if we're laying stuff on the table. I mean... Listen, you're holding on by a thread, right? You think your psycho boss is going to take care of you after this? Yeah. The answer yeah, is no. All right. Fair enough. I if anything, push my luck. he's going to kill you. I if you know that. If you and your buddies get out, I'll help tend to you after. I'm a nurse. Can't fix everything. She looks down at her leg. But when it comes to people, I'm capable. Uh. 
One more thing. Yeah? Did you see a red rubber ball bounce in here? Red rubber ball. Um, sort of like looks around the room a bit awkwardly and sh shrugs his shoulders. It's me. Kind of had uh, mm. other things on my mind. Uh. Apex goes back to picking shrapnel out of his shoulder. Stop. All, right. All right, fine. Fuck it. Perfect. Louise will very gingerly pat his shoulder, sort of like she's very motherly, just sort of wiping the dust off his clothes. So, and um, let's just assume for the sake of brevity that with every question I'm about to ask him, my takes one to no one is going to be active. Mm. So, you'll tell us how to turn the turrets to target the White Raiders, right? The White Razors, yeah. And we will give you time to gather your people who will go with you, right? Hmm. You know, some of them feel the same way about the psycho. We're more, we don't really respect them, but we're afraid of them. Yes or no will suffice. Yeah. How much time do you need? Uh, I don't know, like 15 minutes maybe. Fair enough. We will wait 15 minutes after you've shown us how to do this. After 15 minutes, you guys better be out of there. And you, and, won't, uh, tell, and you won't tell any of the more unsavory members of the group about us, correct? Any more unsavory members I already don't like. I'm fine if you off them. Cool. One other question. After we're done here, we want to be able to get a move on, but unfortunately, <laughs> we've caused a lot of noise. Is there a back entrance or a secret exit out of this particular building that would be safer? Secret exit? Um. Oh, you know what I mean? Come on. Um, safer exit. Safer exit? I mean, you could... You could always keep going... Uh, hang on. Bringing up the actual map here. Uh, you could always keep going east. I mean, you know. Well, I mean, what I'm asking him is, is that I assume the people who are where we're in here are back, you know, around this area or, you know, this area. Ah, stop it. I mean, once you... <laughs> so is once... there another exit we could leave? Like, you know, is there an exit here? Is there an exit here that we can leave out of this particular complex building, whatever we're in? I mean, once you're finished with whatever it is you're doing here, you could always exit through South Broadway and just wrap around, go back to wherever you're going to. I don't know. Reasonably safe? Once you get outside, yeah. I mean? Hmm. About as safe as the world is. That is to say, okay. not very, but it's probably your best bet. Okay. She grins. Well, I think that's good on all sides then. She uh, Does my pit boy have a timer? Uh, It does, in fact, have a clock. Louise will show him her pit boy. Whoa. Show him the start of when, let's say in about a minute, 15 minutes is going to start. That's what she's indicating. All right. You got 15 minutes. And if you wouldn't mind, maybe just, you know, actually, no, never mind. You got 15 minutes. Actually, after wait. Wait, scratch after, that. Yeah, after scratch he shows that. us rewind, how to Rewind, rewind, rewind. <laughs> rewind, forget I said all that. I'll just gesture to the computer. Oh, show us right. Uh, and he'll... He'll go over to the terminal. He'll just and he'll he'll continue to type in some stuff, and uh, you can either make heads or tails of it, but you assume he's doing what you what you want him to do. And he uh, stands up and he points towards the other button. When you want it to start, just hit that button. And he's not pinging my take ones, no one. Uh, he appears to be telling the truth. Well, he can't appear to. He has to. Uh, 
All right, then. And I'll go do the thing with the clock. I was trying to be cool and dramatic. All right. <laughs> you got 15 minutes. Good luck. You and your friends, good luck. You can tell the dog's banging at the door of its chain to give it a fucking rest already, would you? If there's oh. anyone in that group you want to take with you, I mean. Uh, yeah, I should probably go tell someone. Uh, right. Bye. Thanks for... Mm. Thanks for the stim pack. And also... Letting me live. It's uh, no trouble at all. Bye. Louise does that little wiggling of her fingers kind of wave. Have y'all good evening. Apex starts Man. searching the room for his red rubber ball. <laughs> At the moment he departs the scene. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll me uh, wits then. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Oh so, my god. Enough. Yeah. It's sure here. enough. Uh, you, uh, you sort of roll over uh, the man who got impaled by the German World War One hat. Uh, I also take that. Okay, you have oh a German, God. you have a, uh, sort of a damaged, a, ger bloody, a German Kaiser hat. A German Kaiser hat, uh, with sort of an eyeball sticking out of the spike. Oh my God. Uh, like the old Neversoft logo. Yeah. Oh there you go. <laughs> Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Neversoft Kaiser helmet. Perfect. And, uh, yep, you have that now. And also, uh, you roll over his body, and sure enough, the guy landed right on the ball. It's just apex. Apex. There. Apex smiles in the shadow of his mask, picks it up, and puts it back in his fanny pack. Okay. Louise, you do that. Tilts Rubber ball, head. man. Oh, sorry. Louise tilts her head to the ceiling and lets out a breath. Hey, Alvin. Yeah, I'm doing all right. How about yourself? Uh, I don't know if you have time to, uh, take care of Cynthia, though, and if you need to prioritize that, by all means, but if you have a chance, my armor is fucked, if you could get, if I could get it fixed, if you have the minute. But, she gestures to Cynthia, but focus on her first, and we have the time to do it. If we could form a train, Cynthia, would you mind pulling the rest of this shrapnel out of my shoulder? Uh, yeah, I can do that. I can't reach the rest of it. Ah, uh, all right. So she'll start pulling shrapnel out of his shoulder and okay. lift her leg behind her so that <laughs> Alvin can look at it. So as <laughs> as a sort of a sort of medical procedure train uh, starts up with <laughs> uh, with you all beginning to uh, repair each other and or treat each other's wounds, I think this is a prime place to take a break. Yep. When, oh when you lift up the leg, Alvin's red hand personality just melts away and he just chuckles and just <laughs> over. I was just thinking about picking up picking, picking out shrapnel out at Apex's arm, just like Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, oh my god. Candy. Oh, <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna field medic that when we get back. Also, yeah, I, that, that, I that was my goal. For, I apologize for springing new mechanics on you. <laughs> uh, hey at least you're at least you're repairable i know yeah. that's honestly why i took it uh, i was like this I'm, is I, just just I just least... just to just to ease anyone's uh fears uh unless something really bad happens i'm not gonna remove one of your limbs permanently uh there's a, there is a whole system for injuries in the uh like, it's still something I'm fleshing out, but amputation yeah. is one of them. Oh, my lord. Like, how do saving death rolls work in this system? Do oh, we, when, 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 when you, when you hit zero right when back. you hit zero health, you are dead. Uh, t typically, anything below five health, uh, if you go below five health, you're probably already losing consciousness. Yeah, you're below half health, you are fucked up. Yeah, in this game, one damage can be a lot of... It can make a big difference. 
I completely neglected to look over this. I will have to do some studying. No. Uh, it's it, it's also probably been updated since the version you have, so I can also update you with that. But I am going Ooh. to go use the restroom. Do we level up to higher hit points at some point? Uh, duh, no, I don't believe so. Because that's precarious. I thought we were playing the gateway, mm. not Call of Cthulhu. Mm. Mm -hmm. Fallout World's deadly. Well, oh, I'm going to go pee. I am going to go put on some tunes. And then I will be right back as well. I'm going to turn on my fucking fan. Ah. <sighs> I'm back now. What's up, y'all? Hello? Is anyone still here? Hi! What's up? Hi! Oh, Hello. did we all leave? Oh, gosh. Am I having fun? I'm having loads of fun. I hope you guys are having fun, too. You had a tough day, but it's better now. <clears throat> oh, oh, Dresden, did you, like, do you know how, like, like, how happy I am I'm asked to go ahead and play a character on this channel? It's super cool! I thought you did more than just dish with the unexpectable stuff. Are you just streaming with a bunch of us? Uh, oh, 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 me? Um, <laughs> uh, this is my first time streaming with the Unexpectables. I've helped Monty do some one shots that have been off stream and whatnot, just so you know she can test new mechanics and new wiggly things. Uh, and I mean Connor, I've known Connor for ages, but like, um, I definitely have gotten to know everyone in the Unexpectables now. Uh, over the past, I want to say, uh, two, three years, um, I think, uh, I think you and Caitlin are the last people I, uh, I, I, I got to meet and glad to know you. Oh, mm -hmm. It makes me so jealous. I, cause I've been going back and listening to the, uh, oh, the rep, listening to Gateway again. And I'm just sitting there like, <laughs> listen to baby Sarah when she barely has a fucking grasp of what her character is. Oh dear God. Rabbit's oh. over here. He's got a perfect from day one. You know. <laughs> really? I sounded... I, I thought I felt more nervous than, like, a dog at his first time at the groomers. Like... <laughs> yeah, but it fits with Alvin, so, you know. I guess... You know, in a roundabout way, yeah, I guess that works. Awesome. I guess that works for first time D&D campaigns. Play a nervous character. It works out if you're nervous. What a, what a, what a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> Luke for Lucas. Let's see. Um, <laughs> hey, Connor. Hey. Have you ever played Dragon's Dogma? I have not played Dragon's Dogma before. I have played the absolute bedeviled shit out of Dragon's Dogma. It's, I've never beaten it. I've played it like Skyrim. I just run around the mountains and go, woo, and then stop. But I've had a good experience. That was Excellent. a question that Luke Lucas uh, pointed at both of us. 
I see. I'm going to read off those bits and subs. And indeed has that question in it. Let's see. Um... Uh, Gorilla Geek 21, thank you for the 50 bits. On this episode of Crafting with Apex, how to make Halloween masks out of your enemies' faces. Next episode, how to make a Christmas star out of a bastard's heart. There we go. A happy nobody, thank you for the 14 months of Prime. The way we're explaining oh. Apex now, he's starting to sound like my first RimWorld character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> eh. Cannibal, psychopath, razor oh. hands. Poke Freak 102, thank you for the 17 months. Akazar, thank you for the 13 months. Leg went boom, now leg goes boom. Sky Invictus, thank you for the 100 bits. I'm here live at last. Greckles Flowery Nips, thank you for the 100 bits. Hello, everyone. First time live for this as I'm caught up. A. Hey. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome! Pain time, thank you for the 500 bits. No, Cynthia has been defeated. The world is too cruel. But, um, tush. Well, we told her to break a leg, and I can't boy, how he did it back ever. for that. I mean, <laughs> that's not the way to get a leg up on things. For, oh for, my people, God. for people who have played uh, Fallout games in the past, landmines can and will fuck your day up. Yo, he yeah, did. <laughs> I, I, I used to call them Stimpak pizzas back in the day. So you stepped <laughs> on one and you used a Stimpak half a second later going, stupid me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no, I seem to have just burst my femoral artery. Oh well. Oopie. Oh, oh, <laughs> tibia. oh tibia, you just... Slam a, you just slam a stem pack. You get back in there, you silly creature. It's okay, I'll regrow that toe. Nope. Not you guys. I could just build Cynthia a new toe. Maybe <laughs> new toe. I would love that. Yes, Hold you know. this. Hold the serious. Thank you for the 5,000 bits. The computer password Ooh. wasn't Swordfish. I'm both Whoa. shocked and proud. Holy shit. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Thank, Thank you. you man. I, will, I will give that one a slide whistle. <laughs> it's funny because the uh, it's funny because Discord likes to uh, mute pitches like that. So it just sounds like a... Oh, oh yes. no. Really? Yeah. yeah. I heard nothing. I heard it oh, start and then my... it was just like gone. How many times have I done that on my show? Never knowing. Oh my god. Well, no, it's, it's it's only it's only Discord that does it, not uh, not like OBS. So oh. I'm sure I'm sure Ooh. it sounds fine on there. I thought I was, I was just gonna do a test. I was just gonna do a test stream and just be like testing whimsical instruments. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> Blow a slide whistle. Did y'all hear that? Squeak my blep. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Luke the damn. Lucas, thank you for the 100 bits. Rabbit or Connor, have you played Dragon's Dogma? It's by far my favorite RPG with some of the best action ever. One of the creators is from the Devil May Cry team. Uh, yeah, I believe... Um, I think since two onwards, he's been... Uh, he's been a part of the team... Forgetting his name right now. I didn't know. Com I didn't know the Devil May Cry combat dude is behind Dragon's Dogma. But you know, yep. now that I think about it, when I use a greatsword, because I played off stream with a greatsword warrior, it does kind of feel like Devil May Cry a little bit. With the ability that I can firmly grasp the Minotaur. Yeah. I think Strider was uh, No. Yeah, Strider. Hideaki, Hideaki Itsuno is the one who. Uh, he's. Uh, I, I think it's rumored that he's making Dragon's Dogma 2, as a matter of fact. Oh. Eventually. Oh, you yeah. have no idea. I would implode. Like, I would just crush into a marble if he announced that. 
I know an, so I know exciting. an anime I know like an anime came out like a little while ago. Didn't hear yeah, much it was about on it. Netflix. Oh. It it was kind of like a fart in the wind. It was okay. okay. It ex- <laughs> All right, oh. it existed. Sorry, just that term a fart in the wind is great. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Uh, Blackfoot ferret, thank you for the lead bits. Only you folks can make exploding severed limbs funny. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Tucker, thank you for the 100 bits. We Dragons Dogma fans are waiting for the sequel. Yeah. Oh, I, I said I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for it. I... <laughs> uh, Never did Breaker, John, the first game. Thank you for the 100 bits. Connor, you're a demon goat man, right? Could you get this demon to leave me alone? Because he's been asking for dolls and jades. Hmm... Uh, that's not my jurisdiction, buddy. Sorry. Uh, any, nah. any, any and all demonic incursion, uh, I find personally hilarious. Just burn some sage. He'll leave. It smells yeah. like farts, the demons. <laughs> He'll leave. Or so, uh, somebody's got to cut a goat elsewhere at some point. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's only a matter of time, really. They only have so many demons to send for goat cuttings. Yeah. Zen Lita, the just... two. 200 bits. I would like to thank Caitlin for the chance to make so many grindhouse memes. <laughs> you can't see it, but I'm making little finger guns at you. Hey. Yeah. Mr. Snacks so 8. Excited. Thank you for gifting five subs to the community. Wow. Zen Lita, thank you for the additional 200 bits. As cool as Cynthia looks now, uh, it's going to be a r- r- tough time getting used to the new gun leg. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sock yeah. Puppet Ninja, thank you for the 100 bits. Not sure if it's appropriate to ask this here. Okay, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, it was not. It was not appropriate. Luke the Lucas, thank you for the 100 bits. Now Rabbit, I can only hope you hire my pawn. What? What? It's a Dragon's Dogma reference. There's a oh. decision you can hire that other players made called puns. Uh, my my favorite is uh, my favorite is Arkoff's. Uh, his name's Tiny Tim. He's a giant oh. man with the highest pitched voice, so he sounds like oh. one of the minions from Despicable Me. And he oh, rips people in half. He oh. has the scariest armor. <laughs> oh, I would probably hug that guy. And I just imagine he just runs toward the monster with a greatsword going, Beetle, Beetle, Beetle. Oh. So great. All right. And with that, uh, that's all the bits and subs that I've got. Are we ready to get back into the wacky, wonderful world of Gateway? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it then. So, uh, picking up where the uh, the medical train left off, uh, mm-hmm. we can go ahead and do our various perks to uh, heal various injuries. Uh, let's start with. Cynthia on the apex. Uh, okay. Why don't you go ahead and and you 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 do you have like a, a feat or an item or something that you've got? I have field medic. Uh, so plus smarts on the on plus ten heals target for two on a result between seven and nine heals for one. If I get six or less, they take more damage. Right. So go ahead and do that. Here we go. Seven. I'll take Seven. one health back. All right, you heal one health. The apex. Mm. Uh, I can move my shoulder now. Thank you. Of course. And over at uh, Alvin. So, what are you attempting to do with this leg? Are you gonna reattach it? I'm gonna see if I can. Okay. <laughs> Might need a workshop. Uh, the patch job might be able to help us out for the time being. 
Because that's like a field repair. Can we fix this with space, equipment, and time? Mm. Uh, so I'm just going to roll my smarts, and we'll see what Connor wants to happen. Okay. That's a nine. Nine? All right. Yep. Uh, you managed to get to a point uh, <laughs> where you've, you sort of like... It's not a hundred percent stable. Uh, after after the shotgun peg leg sort of just just breaks down from the the temporary usage of it, uh, you attempt to sort of adhere it back. Uh, you kind of repair the inner mechanisms of it, but it's not a hundred percent stable. For now, for now, Cynthia, you're treated as as if as if your injury has been healed, but okay, um, you're you're basically you're going to be avoiding that penalty for the you're going to be avoiding the penalty for the rest of this sort of dungeon experience we've got going on here. Uh, but after that, you will need to sit down and have it repaired at like okay. a workbench, a workstation. Um, and just to. Uh... <laughs> just to ask mm. you said there were like it was sparking before and that her vision went a little weird at one yeah, point that was just from the initial like like severing of the uh severing of the leg and also just con concussive force just shocking your system a little bit okay so when he's reattaching anything it's not like like barking in any way or anything any sparking that it would have done, Alvin basically repairs and gets it to a working state. It's not a okay. it's not a permanent fix, but it'll it'll do you for the rest of this mission. I, I'm just trying to see if there's any type of like short circuity sort of deals that she might have to deal with because it's sort of roughshod. Not at the moment. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm not sure how this works, but it looks like we'll have to sit down and give it a real thorough fix once we got all this behind us, but uh, try giving that a move. See if see if that works. Uh, she will put her leg back on the ground and kind of step back and forth, shifting her weight, testing it out. Mm, seems it's like it's working. Yeah, it's a little crunchy, but you think it'll hold. Should have been one of the Robco technicians at this rate. Huh. Ain't that fancy. Then like that. I don't know if Robco would be able to fix all of this. <laughs> well, I'm telling you for something so for something so for uh some lady so unique, uh, I I mean <laughs> I'm 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 getting to I'm I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of it. We might be able to get them upgrades. If, you, you know, after a little while. Somewhere I would appreciate there, it greatly. Somewhere out there, Robert Edwin House is rolling in his grave. <laughs> <laughs> Louise kind of gives Cynthia a side poke in the side with her elbow. He called you unique. I have ears. Alvin meets Dr. House. Who who are you? I'm you, but you know, alive and think better. Oh god. <laughs> no one thinks better than me. Oh yeah, I can also do this, and then I just heat action is spawned out of the fucking Whoa. tower. <laughs> uh, so Alvin's good with Cynthia. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, for the for the moment, and oh, also, does that ability restore armor at all? Or oh, yes. Um, judging on um, judging on rather, you want to go ahead and count this as can we fix it or patch job? Uh, either restored by twenty percent of the uh, twenty five percent of the armor, or restored one armor. A creature would probably be restore one armor. 
Yeah, I yeah. think this all sounds like a patch job thing because I don't have a workbench or whatnot. I've got my tools, yeah. but it'd be so better you to get, have a tool bench. You get one armor back in the process of all of this. So I'll okay. take it. I already hey. have my leg back, so we're doing all right. Well, kind of. Woo! I, I've taken, well, after the little patch job you did on me, I've taken effectively zero damage from this session, so. Oh my god. <laughs> Louise kind of gest Louise kind of gestures to Alvin. Got time for me? My, arm my armor's kind of fucked up. Yeah, I think we got time. Here, throw it on the table. Let's see what you got. A uh, quick question before that: Have has anyone activated the turrets yet, or is this all? No, we're, uh, we're, 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 we're assuming that all of this is happening during the fifteen minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just making sure. Just making sure. All right. All right. Let me roll smarts one more time. Uh, uh sure. Oh boy, here I go thinking again. What? Eleven. Oh, wow. Hey, a success. I will say, while this is going on, after we got patched up, Apex would be standing guard at the door that the uh, gentleman left through, mm -hmm. just try, just keeping a lookout and wondering if anybody that came around through that block door might be trying to come in through any other way. It would probably be this way. Yeah, after, after the combat basically stopped... Uh... It took a little bit, but eventually the the trying the door just sort of stopped. Now, yeah, depending, so uh, we're counting this as patch job, right? Mm -hmm. So if we're yes. counting this as patch job, uh, Louise, you get two armor. I'll take what I can get. Um, I guess. For my part, does this room we're in look like it's sort of a general base of operations? Like, would there be anything interesting in here? If you want to scavenge a little bit, you're more than welcome to. Because I assume we're gonna go straight for we're gonna go straight for the big bad after this. This kind of feels like it'd be my last chance to do it. Sounds like a plan to me. You want to go ahead and search um, around? You're more than welcome to. Well, I haven't rolled scavenger today, so I'd love to look for like stim packs, armor, weapons, whatever will help us in this upcoming fight. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Oh, bro. Yeah, it it seems like it seems like the guy when when you let him go and he was leaving, he he seemed to pick up everything that was his and he uh, fucked off. And Apex it. already found the red rubber ball, so. Mm -hmm. That <laughs> didn't belong to him, so sad. he didn't take it. Yeah. Unfortunately, Louise he did. very, very sad about that. <laughs> can't quite find what you were looking for in this instance. Ah, oh, well, you can't win them all, Sarah. <laughs> I want to live is all. <laughs> I would just like life. All right. Is anybody so, doing anything much... else? So uh, I'm, just, I'm just keeping watch. Okay. Now, with uh, with with all that done and whatnot, uh, Alvin's just gonna kind of lean up against a wall of his thoughts until the 15 minutes. Cynthia is standing with her rifle. She was shifting her weight, and uh, her eyes are still red, and they have been since the landmine went off. And all of a sudden, she just stands still and kind of like slumps forward a little bit. Mm -hmm. Y'all, uh, y'all okay there, Cynthia? You're all so reckless. How, how do you mean? You just charge into everything. It's very unwise. Yeah, that's what we do, isn't it? I'm also not the one that shot the man that could turn off the turrets. I'm sorry, something just took me over after that landmine went off and... Well, the important part is we made through it, Cynthia. I suppose, for now. Y'all, uh... Y'all doing okay? Really? Y'all doing all right? 
She hasn't raised her head at all. Alvin will approach Cynthia and just slowly extend a hand. You, y'all doing okay? She'll look up. She Hi. thinks you're cute. Hmm? She thinks you're cute. Uh, who? Uh, what, like... Um, you... What, what, um... I, what what you what's going on here? Do you, Cynthia, you mean me? I'm the really only other... Do, do, do y'all, do y'all Cynthia mean Cynthia blinks wait? really hard and steps back. Looks down, and her eyes are now the normal blue. Y'all, y'all doing okay? Cynthia? Yes. Cynthia, you all right? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. What was that I... all about? You kind of just... Oh man, did I did, did I trigger something when I fixed up your leg? Nope, I, nope. I'm sorry. On Alvin, it's fine. Let's just focus on what we have to do. All right. All right. If if all right. If if, if I if, if I did go ahead and trigger something or whatnot, just you just let me know. Anything, Alvin, it. just drop it. Uh, sorry. Just all right. All right. Drop it. Yeah. yeah, you got it. I got it. Okay. Mm. Hey, I... Cynthia. Who is asking this? Uh, DM. Okay, yes. Yeah. Those are getting more frequent, aren't they? Uh, you know, mildly. Answer. Okay. So, what were we up to? Uh, how much time we got left? Is it about to run out? You have about three minutes left. Uh, if you want to do anything else uh, other than that. Uh, if anyone is paying a attention. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, Apex is kind of grumpy from being judged, but he goes back. He actually steps outside of the door after being told he was reckless and, uh, just starts patrolling the hallway. Uh, the apex uh, goes off to to sulk in the hallway. Uh, you go patrolling and stand uh, on... guard mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> on your patrol. Grumpily, you... sta grumpily standing guard. You kick a can <laughs> because he got called <laughs> reckless. Boom. <laughs> Alvin has a completely puzzled look on his face, and he's just looking between Cynthia and Louise, because when Cynthia said she thinks you're cute, now Alvin thinks, like, are you, are you thinking about Louise? <laughs> oh, Louise thinks I'm cute. No. Oh, no. Excellent. Oh, Excellent. Louise, no, this just is all raises, great. Louise just raises an eyebrow, kind of like, I mean, you're okay looking, but it's like, I don't know. Oof. <laughs> You know what? I'm a C plus. I'll take that one. Oh my right. God. Apex on your Excellent. on your watch. On your watch, you don't see much. Uh without okay. having to roll, nobody seems to be approaching your location at all. Louise is watching the time. Then, 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 then he takes then he takes the time to clear his head. Okay. <laughs> like lit I'm just imagining that literally like I'm going to shake myself like a dog. I mean, I probably uh, the, the the nits are probably back in his hair by now. So, hmm. <laughs> Louise is kind of watching the minutes tick by, and she's getting more and more antsy as it is until she finally just is like, "Hey, um, Alvin, Cynthia, yes, darling, what do you need? Apex too, if you can hear me. I can. Thanks. Listen, um." I don't generally like to think this way, but just in case things go south, um, she pats her backpack. I don't know if I could ask one of you to take what's left of Phil back to his mom, where he's, you know, supposed to be. I'm, um, I'm not going to ask you to do anything about Barry or anything like that, but, you know. Hey, we'll I, take care of it, darling. You don't have to worry about nothing. 
Thanks. Hey, uh, you know, friend to a friend, Louise, if, uh, if, if it doesn't really fold out and, you know, just gets ugly. Um, if you ever find yourself scaving over in Riverside, just talk to boss man. Just let him know. All right. I don't want him. I don't want that old goat to go ahead and be worrying about me the rest of his life. I mean, ghouls live a long time, you know? That's a long time worrying. All right. Looks to Cynthia with an odd grin. Any, um, next of kin you want us to take care of? Well, I don't know. I think he's still around. I hope he is. What's his name? Dave. Dave Johnson. He's, uh... He's the reason I'm still around. He's saved me more than once. Right. How about you, Apex? It doesn't matter. As long as you are within my reach, none of you will die. Damn, that cheers me up. You know how to talk to a girl, Apex, I swear. I gotta say, that's awfully noble of you, Apex. <laughs> Whew, pretty damn heroic, I'll say. All right, so a moment that a alarm rings off or something? Apex smiles under his mask. So Louise does. Oh, sorry, Ed. So the moment that uh, uh, your your clock, does it make a sound or whatnot whenever the 15's up? Something oh, to let she, us know to just, make a mad she's dash? Just, she's just watching it. I mean, I assume once the 15 clock's down, we're going to turn those turrets back on and then we'll go. She, she's That's just watching it go down by itself. It's not going to make a noise or anything. It's like watching a regular clock and being like, you know. Pretty much. When it, yeah. Louise does sort of sidle up to Alvin and be like, I do got one maybe more personal favor for you specifically. What was that now? Uh, it's a big ask, but um, you remember how I maybe... Oh, yeah, above game, when I was talking to Phil's mom, were they listening on outside on that? Could they hear that stuff? That's up to them. If I remember right, I was sitting on the porch. Eh, I'm going to guesstimate you could hear most of it then. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how I talked to Phil's mom about my vault? How our door's fucked? Yeah. Oh. Well, we need that heart that Barry's got, but again, I I don't expect you to go after Barry, but if in your travels you maybe are around my vault area, you're pretty smart, Alvin. Maybe you could fix the door without it. If you had the time and the inclination. I'll tell you what, once this all's behind us, and you know, things get a little grim. If I'm in the vault area, I'll probably be with the rest of the people in my uh, machining crew. We can go ahead and get that fixed up. Between okay. between me between me and the others, <laughs> ain't nothing we can we can't fix. You saw Frontenac. Okay, it's fault sixty six. Fault oh, sixty six. I remember it well. I think that's where we first seriously broke the ice together. Fault sixty six. <laughs> you got me out of that funk. Uh, oh, so above game that was vault eighty five. <laughs> Oh, Vault 85. That, yeah, wait, wait. Vault 85 yes. is where me and Phil were trapped. Vault 80, Vault 66 is where I was born and raised and where Phil was working with us. Yes. I'm looking at my notes now. Don't worry, I can play it. <laughs> Don't vault. worry about it. He'll, he'll trail off and... Or was it 85? There's a lot of numbers to Vault. You know that? <laughs> yeah. Well, Louise will look down and note that. Five, four, three, two, one. 
All right, that's 15, guys. Let's start the shit. You got it. All right, so you're going to activate it? All right. As you go down, you hit the enter key. It's faint at first, but outside you all hear echoing in through the doors. And you hear you hear some muttered like confusion, like well, what's going on? And all at once, just screams and the roar of gunfire rip through the silence as pandemonium, what you can only assume, uh, happens outside. Just people, you hear people dying, just bullets ripping through concrete and flesh. It seems like it goes on for a good maybe like five minutes of just utter chaos and the occasional uh, the occasional gunshot, be it either from the turrets themselves or from some other place. You hear an explosion and then another. And then it all gets really quiet. I think it worked. Mm. Sounds like, though... What do I get the feeling some of those turrets might be down now? Well, they seem to go ahead and cut through at least a lot of their forces. They didn't expect that one, that's for damn sure. They're going to I be, think well, we got... <laughs> they're going to be dealing with that for a while. We should get moving towards our objective while they're confused. Yeah, it'll be like a Sunday stroll to that clock tower, I'm sure. Here's my question, though, Alvin. Do we want to try to go straight for the clock tower? Or if we still got all our turrets up and running, can we get that guy to come out mm. and maybe let the turrets do a bit of the job for us? Do you think he would if he knows that they're against him? At this <sighs> point, at this point, he probably would. Depends Let's go to how... the clock tower. Then we'll go ahead and make our play there. Hold the cards until then. Yeah. Depends how, depends how pissed he is. When you're pissed, you're not that smart. That is true. They do call him the psycho. Yeah, he does. Speaking of which, hey, Louise. Yeah. Uh, Alvin will go ahead and toss the syringe of psycho to her. I don't need it. Yeah. I'm going to solve it my way. All right. Or she'll take, she'll take it back. Or at least like a mix of mess half and half. Let's get going. Clock tower. <laughs> All right. You are headed to the clock tower. Are you... Um... Are you exiting the building for the way you came in, or are you going out the other entrance? Uh, the other way is... I mean, I guess we could undo the chains the way we came in, but... You did you tell could. us another way to get around it. Yeah. We could just go out that way without having to do all the chains and stuff again. Unless you yeah. wanted to take the chains with you. It, it, would be, it would be no problem. I wouldn't make you roll anything for you to go out the other side. Let's go out the other way then. Yeah. Yeah. Just that will new, that way new doors. All right. New, new doors. So you're circling. We out. get new. We get new sites. Just a just a nice tour of the brewery. Oh, so you see, so you're you're going further in, or uh, we're we're heading out the other direction, basically. Oh, the opposite direction. Right. So you go ahead and. This is uh pretty much the worst place to get a tour of. This appears to be the. Uh, a set of office buildings that uh, sort of dealt with the uh, more business end of the Laughley Enterprises, but uh, it's still pretty neat. It's an old building. It's it's old even by your guys' standards. This appears Boring, to be pretty much. 
pretty boring. Uh, as basic as basic can be. Uh, aside from the occasional landmine, that's all the excitement you got in here. I was gonna uh, ask, it's like, wait, did you need to roll for that? I'm not gonna make you roll to, to Thank avoid you. landmines if you on on your way out with without without combat being imminent here. Yeah, you sort of just managed to stroll on through. Uh, and as you exit, uh, the site that greets you is, uh, well, it's grisly to say the least. Uh, you see just bodies all over. Um, they have been basically torn to shreds by a hail of high caliber gunfire. Uh, just blood beginning to pool, uh, where there was once beer flowing through the Laughley Brewery. There is now blood. Uh, <laughs> you, a red IPA for the ages. You uh. do notice a couple of stragglers just sort of hiding behind things. Uh, you notice that this turret has been destroyed. And this turret has been destroyed as well. Uh, one of you, make a wits roll for me. I'll Oops. do it. But I think Apex, Apex got a five. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're you're pretty well and truly distracted. Uh, by the, by, you, you, you do see people that are still active and they're like hiding behind stuff. I'm keeping track of those people, but not the thing that might be important. Oh. Yeah, you, 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 you actually do manage to, uh, lock eyes with one of the persons that's like hiding behind a box and he looks at you and he's like, Shit. And he, and he mm. just, like, looks around like he doesn't know what to do, and he just stays there for the moment. So, what you heading to the clock tower? Yeah! Das clock tower! Does anything else seem dangerous, or...? Other than the two now active turrets, uh, nothing seems to be terribly dangerous can i real quick loot some of these bodies and look for what i was looking for in that one room but minus scavenger you want to step out you want to step out into the radius with the active turrets well they're not going to well, hit us those, those those things were reprogrammed to only shoot the uh yeah, the oh, white right, Raiders. right that was the deal I, that was the deal i made with that guy that he would let us target just the raiders, but I'd let him take the people he liked out first before we activated it. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, think, yeah uh, that's how that played out. Sure. Well, uh, yeah, you can you can sort of stroll up and, and pick, off, uh, pick off stuff off of some bodies if you would like. Although you will... Impact. Sorry? You will be there. There are still people that are armed around you, though. Just, just letting you know. No, mm, then I won't. I don't want to risk it. And if you want to, nah, I'm good. This is one biscuit you don't want to risk. Risk it, know the biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> and how, sir? And how? All right, so you're heading straight towards the clock tower, then. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have sight of some of the remaining people, right? Yes, yes. Mm. How close are they? They're, um... I'll, I'll go ahead and just ping them on the map for you. There are people hiding around, like, here and here. Just, okay. They're just ducked behind buildings where, in the alleyways, you can clearly see the people have just been lit the fuck up. Um. 
Yeah. Cynthia's very quiet now and is is like looking at them almost like they don't exist and then staring forward and following. Okay. Making your way to the clock tower. If any of them catch sight of us, I'm going to glare at them and show them one of my red hands while walking toward the clock tower. I mean, you still they're... want to roll. Oh, sorry? Their attention seems to be pretty torn right now. Uh, the active turrets. <laughs> yeah, but you you don't you don't appear to be actively threatening them, so they're just pretty much letting you pass for the time being. As well, you should. Sure I, ima I imagine the four of us just JoJo strutting. <sighs> yeah, that's what I thought too. Totally. Oh God. <laughs> I don't know if we need to roll for like mines or something, because I'm just worried there might be mines out here too. Nah. Your jacket flapping in the wind. No. You don't okay. See, thank you. You don't see any mines out here. That one landmine has made us so worried for the rest of the campaign. I mean, it did cost me part of my leg. It, that is true. My leg. <laughs> my leg. There will be plenty of other opportunities to get your limbs blown off. Don't worry. There are don't. plenty of limbs. You're heading all the way to the clock tower. The the site, uh, by the way, um, is pretty fun. You've never seen anything quite like it. Uh, again, you see the the very decorative looking L with the eagle with the American bald eagle uh, in the background of it, sort of just carved into the side of this red brick building. Uh, at its front, you see a large uh, clock tower frozen in time at the exact moment it stopped working when the bombs hit. Uh, the building behind it appears to be much of the same as all of the other buildings that you've uh, encountered in this brewery thus far. It's uh, venerable looking, huh? It's it's quite a sight. It's almost beautiful if it weren't so, you know. Irradiated. Uh, yeah, the time has ravaged it. Mm. Very decorative windows line the uh, bright green doors with red trim to the entrance of the clock tower. And you head in. Yes. <sighs> Alrighty. It's do or die time. From the back, because Cynthia was like following, trailing behind everyone, she mm -hmm. looks up, and none of you, uh, all of you are facing forward, and from behind you just hear, I can understand why you miss it. We do hear this, you said? Yep. Apex turns. Miss what? what? And they catch the tail end of her eyes going from red to blue. Memories. Nothing but memories. Cynthia? You alright? Are you pinging my let's talk takes one to no one? Are you okay? She's it's not lying. All right. Apex just stares. Well, I, I bet it must have looked a lot lovelier. But let's go yeah. ahead and get on in here and put it to rest. Yes, let's finish things here. I think we have uh, more pressing matters to tend to afterwards. Absolutely. After it's all said and done, though, Alvin looks back and smiles. I'd like to hear more about this place. You know, back in the day. And I'd love to tell you. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Ooh, Alvin kicks the door open. <laughs> All right, well, you kick the door open. The door sort of rattles and the whatever's left of the glass shatters on impact. And you stroll in. 
and it's quiet. Oh, lit up is this place. What can we see? It's the lights are still on in this place. What you basically get is uh sort of sectioned off from the rest of this building is is the clock tower and it's just like a bunch of stairs leading up to the top. Any minds to roll for? Go ahead and roll wits, whoever would like to. Can we all, or is this just one person again? Um, hmm. we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and, and give it a, a whoever whoever's taken charge of this can go ahead and roll for roll for wits. I read that as the person who has the highest wits. I have a plus two. I, I also too. have a plus two. I'm a himbo. I don't. <laughs> that would imply that you're not smart. Which I'm pretty sure you have a higher smarts stat. I have a three smarts, but a zero wits. Yeah, oh, you're, wow. you're, ve you're, ve you're very book smart, but you have no street smarts. You're a three, though. <laughs> I'm the opposite of Tommy Boy. Uh, you're a rain man. Uh... That's what my mom calls me. There you go. I guess I could. I'm not really leading, though. It's technically Alvin is leading, so. Apex is con constantly on edge. I'm just worried after the last few rolls I've had. Yeah, I, I, I'll t okay. I'm going to take the hit this time. All right, go for it. You got it. Yeah. Oh. Ah, the same my one. The God, same one. literally the exact two, the exact one. Look what at all the, the heck? fucking ones I've rolled. Why is oh, no? Wow. Doesn't like you today. You don't what see Benny any mines. Oh God. Ah, my favorite. <laughs> That's my favorite answer. Well, yep. just a big staircase going up to you suppose would be the maintenance, the inside of this clock tower. No one else can do wits at this point? No one? No one? Not a person? Not a soul? Not a single soul, Connor? Friendly Connor? We all, wouldn't we all be on edge? Come on. We would all be on we'd edge. All, we'd all be looking. And rightfully Handsome so. Connor. This is a dangerous situation, after all. Yeah. Yeah. So, more wits rolls? Yeah. Handsome Connor with the magnificent beard? Yeah. Rolls? <laughs> Apex blindly stomps forward. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Heads up the oh, stairs, God. Man. Apex blindly Eyes. stomps forward. And as you do. Eyes full of purpose. Uh, as I do. Uh, you climb the stairs. Oh, my God. That was so stressful, Connor. Connor, why? You have no idea what the rest <laughs> of them are so worried about. You don't see any mines. <laughs> No, I don't see any mines. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, Alvin it's... heads up the stairs, just full of determination and purpose, man. Fist okay. clenched, stanced up. Okay, I guess we're going. Cynthia's gonna blink her eyes hard, shake her head, and uh, follow after and try and really focus on on what's in front of them as she follows all right as you make your way up and up and up these stairs seemingly without problem you come to a room at the very top right outside of the clock tower or no you're inside the clock tower Right outside where the where the clock would be on the clock tower. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just gonna so, ready my shotgun. You know, yeah. just to have something out. Okay. So it looks and, like so it looks like the end of a Jack Nicholson Batman movie. I gotcha. Uh, Cynthia will make her way to the front. Okay. Uh, how narrow are these stairs? Like, is she awkwardly like bumping past us? Well, they're pretty. They're pretty wide. You could three okay. people could walk side by side. Together, but um, yeah. since she's not in the back anymore and I am, I'm gonna keep an eye out for our backsides as we enter this room. Okay. 
watch as she's uh, passing Apex. His weapon could inject you with a lot of bad real fast. I'd prefer if I'm the one that gets jabbed, it's not going to do much. Watch your step. I'll do my best. And she'll okay. continue forward, uh, rifle raised. Okay. And she was whispering that so that it's, you know, out of earshot for anyone that might be nearby. You approach the door. And then... She opens and enters slow the door. open the door yeah okay you're slowly entering and open the door all right roll me away yep. okay nine thank god okay. somebody got it as you slowly open the door you feel it hitch and then you hear a and you just barely managed to leap out of the door frame as a shotgun trap that had been set up outside of the door goes off. You don't take any damage. Oh. Oh my god. A jigsaw trap. Well, that was fun. Guy's got needles and he's setting up fucking shotgun traps. Okay, That's buddy. not gonna be the worst of it. I'm gonna oh, keep man. going. It's a common tactic when white razors hole up in something. Great. Well, I think I'll be keeping an eye out for that from now on. Yeah, death thing makes open up doors every so often, just kind of a scary prospect. And I guess they know we're here now. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, no, I've. <laughs> Woo, we definitely left our mark around here. Cynthia, like, makes the, really? And, like, kind of looks back at the general area of where there's, like, a sea of bodies. And then, like, <laughs> wins at Apex, that, like, no I meant, in, I, meant, mm -hmm. I meant in this specific room. Ah, okay. There's a lot nice of blood save. in the, there's a lot of blood in the courtyard, yeah, but. Okay. There was a massive shotgun blast from a trap that just went off here. Okay, fair, good point. All right, I give it to you. Okay, uh, yes, she will continue towards the door again and carefully go in using her rifle to look around. Okay. As you enter in and you clear the room, Uh, you see sort of the inner workings, these large uh, metal gears that are used to make, were used to make the clock tower function now lie inert and broken uh, inside the guts of this tower. Uh, you see desks where people, like maintenance people, would probably be working on the clock tower itself. And you also see like an old ham radio. Uh, and it appears to be on. Uh, and as you spot it, a voice. Hey, anyone alive up there? Apex looks towards Alvin. Red, don't tell me you fell for that. Did you? Alvin will walk up and take the ham radio. Hello. Hey, how y'all doing today? Y'all must be psycho, huh? You need to say over when you're done talking. Cynthia rolls her eyes. Alvin will hold up a finger. He acknowledges it, but for the sake of brevity. I guess psycho, right? I hit the nail on the head. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. You're the one who's calling himself the Red Hand, huh? Yep. Well, 
That was quite a stunt you pulled with the turrets, making them turn on us like that. <laughs> Clever. Yeah, yo, Valvin. I'm full of tricks, too. You know, Apparently. time changes people, you know. Oh. Oh, I'm sure you've learned that lesson quite well. Well, obviously you can see that I'm not there anymore. Yeah, and, uh, figured, uh, figured when you set the shotgun trap that you all kind of pissed off out of the joint. Nice stunt with the ham radio, though. Very nice. Oh, flatterer. Oh, you know me. Jet's favorite. So, why y'all changing up tactics, anyway? Why y'all holding up in this place? He, he scoffs audibly. sure why I should tell you anything. But I'm willing to cut you a deal. Present. What you got on the table? Come on. Come to the bottling facility. Alone. Just you and me, Red Hand. You don't need to get oh. your friends killed over a little grudge. Oh, an old-fashioned Watt Razor blood duel, huh? <laughs> you haven't forgotten. Nah. So the bottling place, huh? You sure you don't want to do it outside? Nice day out. Do you think I'm stupid? With all think the turns you've got shooting on my boys. Oh, you know, out, out front of the clock tower. Everyone's just sitting here like scared dogs. I think they might need the morale man out here in front of the clock tower. Unless, of course, you want to hide in the bottle in the bottling factory. Is that what jet trained Watt Razor do now? Hide? Oh, you're adorable, Red. You think I'm going <laughs> to let you goad me into a, a trap like that? I think I'm just going to sit here and have a couple brewskis and just bide my time. See, I'm nice and safe up in here. Ah, uh, I see. All right. Y'all make a gunshot or something throughout whatever window of a building you are, so I don't know where the hell you're at. And then why not? You and me. Save me one of them nice beers, will you? Oh, you can have as many as you want. Just come and find me. I'll be waiting. Over and out, pal. Well, he ain't as stupid as I thought he was. But, White Razor Blood Duel. Man, we seriously pissed him off now, didn't we? <laughs> Elaborate. Uh, well, way back in the day, the two people had a huge grudge of each other. Jed go ahead and clear the place, normally outside, Actually, exclusively outside. And we kick up around the dust and whatnot until somebody allowed dead. But Victor, by right, his argument held more weight than the other person. It was barbaric, but that's how the law was kept up. Well, one thing I don't understand is why I said grudge. Grudge would mean that he had something against me. That he maybe knew it's, you. Maybe it's all the dead people oh <laughs> yeah that might have nothing to do with it now nah, i was thinking more something about the past but no that no that checks out 
Kind of a shitty thing he just decided to hole up in that place, though. Kind of leave all of his men to die. That's trashy. I think you might have a piece missing in this, Alvin. Mm. Something about Jet doesn't feel right. How do you mean? The way he spoke. Right. He felt like you were leading him into a trap. His suspicions could be reversed. Well, obviously this is a trap, but I oh. think Jet might be here. Just a hunch. I could be wrong, but something's off. He did sound a little bit too confident when talking about Jet. Exactly. Yeah. I think there's something he knows that you don't. Yeah, all this is like... The way they're all acting, this is like an entirely new bandit organization. <sighs> like you said, their tactics have changed. Absolutely. A jet being here? Or well, something this big? I could be wrong, but no, awesome. something doesn't feel right. And why the bottling facility? He's got to have more tricks up his sleeve than just that pokey stick. Well, that place is probably booby-trapped to high heaven to start. Connor, above game, have I been in this facility before? In the olden days? Hmm. Hmm. How much of a drinker <laughs> is Cynthia? <laughs> I mean... She'll, she'll, uh, she, uh, had a drinking problem. No, 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 not a drinking problem. But she, a drinking you know, solution, <laughs> Lanny. Ah. I just love the way you put that. Sorry, um, I was trying to find something very specific in my notes. Mm. Um, uh. so she enlisted in the army and she had a lot of friends in the army so she would go drinking with buddies it wasn't like a lot but you know when you're friends with a bunch of army people they all drink so um it's not out of line for her to have been around alcohol a lot mm. so you're a social drinker yeah social drinker uh I'll probably end up saying no here that you haven't been to this facility, but uh, it's okay. pretty famous. So. Okay. Yeah. I'm just wondering if she would know anything about layouts or anything, even probably remotely. Not. Similar to probably that. not. Probably okay. not. Okay. Okay. Probably would have come up by now. Good point. But Good point. As you're talking... You all begin to hear a noise, a low <laughs> rumble coming from the building right behind you. As you hear the whirring of large machinery cut through the silence. There it is. I have. I have. I have props for this, and you hear the rattle of hundreds of bottles inside. Except cacophonous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Got it. So it reminded me of your laughing thing, and that one guy at the end is going. <laughs> <laughs> That place is very loud. So, well, did say bottling work. facility. So what is the plan here? Obviously, we're not letting you go off to get yourself killed while we sit in this clock tower and twiddle our asses. Nah, Cynthia's going, like, what? <laughs> Apex, so wonders, Apex wonders at the prospect of that specific statement. As well. Luis just looks at them like, I said what I said. Apex nods. Cynthia looks at Apex. Just and shrug. just like gives that like, yep, okay. 
mm. quiet little mental voice from Phil, just like, I don't think that's how that phrase goes. Shut the fuck up! Nah. He wants me there alone, but he didn't say anything about y'all doing anything around the bottling facility. Or doing anything to the bottling facility. So Louise gets the biggest fucking grin on her face. Alvin? If I was inclined to, I would be fucking kissing you right now. That's understandable. <laughs> but, right. she thinks, but she thinks you're cute, Moniker, going further into your head. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> she does. Yeah, Alvin's Cynthia. like, maybe. <laughs> and Cynthia jerks her head at Louise like, bitch, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh my god, she really does think I'm cute. Oh, wow. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, I'm at seven, maybe. Whoa. I'm moving up! I'm a <laughs> Oh, character, what was I doing? So, a little uh, sabotage outside, huh? Maybe some sabotage outside. Maybe it might be a console close by, maybe outside. Might go ahead and help around with the rigging. If somebody who's a quick shot could go ahead and shoot one of the bottles next to them or near them, go ahead and cause a distraction. Blood duels are blood duels between two people, but I never did mention, nor did I ever mention the fact that uh, all the other white raisers watching would like to fuck around a little bit with them. Straight gunshot here, throw a steel can there. So, so on would... and so forth. So we can't even be spectators, but that doesn't mean we can't fuck around in the shadows. Eh, that's right. Hmm. If he yeah. wants to do like the old days... And Alvin looks at Louise and smirks. I say we do a lot of the old days. So. That's that. So, but how likely is he to, uh... Well, as I've said, he's apparently got a bunch of fucking needles in his body. That seems still like a bit of an unfair advantage on his part. And I hate to admit it, but she sort of gestures with the psycho. You are kind of going in without the one advantage you might have had, much as I wouldn't want you to be using it. Yeah. Mm. But I guess we better just do a big, a good fucking job at subterfuge. I think that might be the case. Now that I appreciate, we can do. I appreciate the thing with the psycho, but I think the, I think the red hand who. Shot all that up, kind of died in that field, to be fair with you. Also, the withdrawal from that was a son of a bitch. So, let's go ahead and uh, just make our way over there. Let's get yeah. it done. Fuck let's that, get, Let's fuck beat that. the shit. Yeah, let's beat the shit out of a crazy man with a syringe stick. Yeah, fuck oh, that red hand me. guy. You couldn't handle this shit. <laughs> No, I don't think he could. <laughs> Besides, I don't think he knows how to fix machines as good as I do. Well, <sighs> shall we? Okay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You all begin to step towards where this cacophonous rumble is. You catch the stares of a couple of white razors watching you enter, and they've sort of got strange looks on their faces. Uh, Connor, do they look like they're going to interfere with us? They're just watching now at this point. They're <laughs> the, not going to do the, anything. They appear to still be pinned down by the turret. Uh, are there any, they, before we go in, are there any dead bodies nearby? I still would like oh, to yes. get one. Then I would like to get one if they're not going to do anything. Okay. All right, roll wits. Go ahead and roll your roll wits. wits roll. Yep. Yeah. Yay, nine. Nine. I'll say you can, before you go in there. Let me grab this. Let me grab this. Wow. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sir, patient. I 
can't believe that that actually just happened. Okay. What? what? Uh, I rolled the D100 and I rolled a one. Oh my okay. God. Well, I see. A, that Do is I pick a... up a line and it blows in my face? <laughs> yes. Beep, beep, no. Beep, beep, beep. Hey, look what I found! Aww. <laughs> Aww, beans. Let's just go ahead and give this another roll here. Huh. Uh, clutched in the hands. Why would you be holding this? No, in the back pocket of of <laughs> one of these uh, white razors, you sort of flip them over. And the, the other guys that are just watching you do this are like, ah, crap. Uh, you flip him over and you dig through his back pocket and you find... I can't believe I rolled this. Eh, let me... I'm so excited and I don't know what for. Uh, it is an... It is an old... Red book. Uh, there appears to be uh, okay. appears to be a uh, what looks like a soldier who is saluting on the front of it. There is a single yellow star at the top of the page, and some characters that you do not recognize. Star and characters like a comic book. Here's no. someone breathing really weird, like they know what this is. I'll I'll go ahead and post a picture. I'll go ahead and okay. post a picture of what it looks of what it looks like in the. Uh, it's in something our chat Chinese. Here. Okay. Oh, in chat. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. What? Huh. And I assume everything in the book is Chinese in terms of text and stuff. Correct. I know what that is. And you 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 can't quite make out the words, but as you as you flip it open and and just look at it, you can't quite understand the feeling, but you feel stealthier. Oh my god. Uh, you've just picked up the right. Chinese Army Special Ops training manual. Oh, okay, hang on. I I had just called it Chinese Army Special op special ops training manual. Yes. Training manual. All right. It's a what skill it book do? for for one encounter. After you read it, you get basically get a plus one to any roles that would require you to be sneaky. Plus one to any roles. Can I just say stealth? Right. Any roll stealth, and that's a one use, I assume. Yes, it's one of those one use things. Oh wait, it says one encounter, but but you you mean just one time I get to use it, not like for right. a whole encounter I get. I get. Well, still that's you, cool. You, you get it for the whole encounter. Oh, so I can keep getting plus ones to my stealth at, for the whole encounter. Yes, that's... but after oh. the encounter wears off and you can't use it again. Oh, okay. That's gonna be real fucking helpful coming up. Could possibly be. Okay. I can't believe I rolled that. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Amazing. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> what what is the rolls to stealth usually? Is that wits? Wits usually, yeah. Yeah, that's wits. Well, yeah, I was gonna Alvin doesn't need it because he's not gonna be stealthy. He's going straight in. There's no point for him to be stealthy. And we oh. all have the same stealth, so yes, I will take that. Oh, okay. That's nice. All right. You have that. Fucking a. Oh, that's baller. Very helpful for literally right now. Mm hmm. Okay, Liz will dust herself off, eyeball the guys watching her with a little grin, and follow the rest of them in. Okay. You all make in make your way into this bottling facility. You see it. It is huge on the outside. By the way, this place is massive. 
you see around you a smooth concrete floor and dozens of these large machines all appear to be in different processes of bottling this ancient beer. Uh, the roar of rattling bottles is all around you. Uh, the hum of the machines is almost deafening. And you see sitting cross-legged on top of the basically a overlook uh, on sort of like a walkway above you. A man who is leaning over the rails. He is adorned in what appears to be this wild-looking metal rusty armor that has these flat iron spikes just jutting out every which way. And what appears to be a welder's mask over his face that has just blackened and yellowed rubber tubing coming out the back like dreadlocks. I can't believe it. It's really you. And that's where we're going to end our session for tonight. Oh, oh, I want, oh Connor, I want to do one more. Th I want to do one more thing. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to step forward and go, that's about right. And I will grab my shoulder and throw off the jacket. Just shirtless, scars and everything out, bloody red hands and pants. Just the yak is a thing of just throwing off the jacket. Dude, you throw off your jacket and as you do he hops over the railing and lands slowly uh, he lands in a crouch and he slowly stands back up almost in an animalistic fashion stealing my vibe And that's where we oh <laughs> sure sure that's where we're on this session fuck it there we go opa opa oh my lord we did it good goodbye austin bye austin adios uh, austin Oh, this is literally going to be like one of those fucking wrestling matches where it's like, yeah, this is all technically with the rules, but we're the fucking cronies around the ring fucking with things. Yep. It's about to be a what? Boss fight? Boss fight. That is loud. Boss fight. All right. Well, I Let's hope you all enjoyed playing. this episode of Gateway. Yeah! Great, great I hope you back. guys had a lot of fun! Oh. Woo! Next Fucking time we pick hell. this up, it's boss battle time. Oh my yeah. lord. Uh, oh my right. lord. <laughs> well, so he's kind of wait. dressed up like a Bane version knight kind of thing going on? I read, the, like... descri I read the description as nigga, as, uh, nigga Apex. 
Like the Bizarro Apex. He does have a lot of similarities in the, the in long Apex's... hair, the mask. Like Apex just in there like this bitch. <laughs> uh, oh uh, my god. Aesthetically he's got some similarities, but he is by and large more live than you, Apex. Apex's headcanon is that he found the comics was like, oh that's a good look. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Psycho, Psycho's like, yes, I've read the comics too, but I like them for the villains. And you're like, oh. <laughs> it's like that one guy from One Punch Man. That's who I am now. <laughs> oh my God. That's, that's my identity. Wow, you basic bitch. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and take it down the horn and uh, do some wrap ups. Caitlin, where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me all over the internet at Balrog on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm uh, streaming on here on Twitch sometimes at twitch.tv slash boobsmcballrog with zeros instead of O's because Twitch does not like boobs. Uh, on Fridays and Sundays, you can usually find me at uh, twitch.tv slash nerdon. I'm part of a podcast called Nerd On The Podcast. Um, you can find out more about that at nerdon.tv. Uh, we have two shows that come out every single week, one of which we record live over at twitch.tv slash nerdon. I feel like other things are happening, but I can't remember what they are or if I can talk about them. So that's where I'll stop. Woo! Yeah! 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 Rabbit, where can they find you? What are you up to? Hey! What's up, everybody? My name's Hey, Mr. Rabbit. I am funny internet man. Uh, you can go ahead and find me on twitch.tv slash HeyMrRabbit, where um, I'm a variety streamer. Uh, I normally shoot for Monday through Friday, but I pretty much shotgun in that particular vein. Um, and yeah, I'm a variety streamer. I play RPGs, retro games, uh, anything really. Um, the last three games I can think of that I played was uh, Code Vein which ended in a brutal fight between my hot, sexy cowboy versus literally Werewolf Arkoff of Two Great Swords. Oh. Digimon, which is... Cyber Sleuth is so good. I love Cyber Sleuth. Mm -hmm. So, so, so much. Um, and uh, Alan Wake, which I got because I thought it was going to be Silent Hill, and I got Evil Dead, and I went, this is fine. That's fine. Um, it, it's madcap. I love it. Um, but yeah, just going ahead. I normally stream in the evenings. Other things I got going on, uh, fixing my apartment. Uh, I have to spackle some holes. Uh, and, uh, just practicing my cooking. Oh, yeah! I suck at baking, but I finished a baking thing. I made no rice bread. I made a perfect loaf oh. of rice bread. Oh, nice. oh yeah. It, it looks old world as fuck. I, I'm almost remiss to eat it. Like, it looks like the icon for Knight's Bread from Final Fantasy XIV. It looks perfect. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, but Yum. anyway, that's me. Woo! Lanny Pator, where can I find you? Well, you can find me all over the internet at Lanny Pator. Uh, on Twitch, currently, uh, the long playthrough I'm going through right now is... Hollow Knight, having a lot of fun there. But on Monday, if you're not all role-played out over here, you can catch Connor, Caitlin, and I, as well as our friend Shadow Dancer Bob, as we uh, play through a campaign I like to call The Ties That Bind. Currently, the party is trapped in the Eldritch Nightmare Realm of Madness, the Void Between Realms. Uh, currently trying to find a way out of there. Tune on in if you want to see uh, how that plays out. But that's me. Alrighty, and Sarah, where can I find you? What are you up to? Uh, uh, I'm on Twitter at Sarah with an H and with an E, Willia. Uh, I mean, yeah, again, I don't got stuff to shill at the moment. Mm -hmm. Ah! What was that? Don't worry, I dropped don't a quarter. Don't, don't attack me again, Caitlin. <laughs> it's scary. Say something you're proud of. Eh, I, uh, I, I cook, I cook stuff sometimes. It, it's not, I mean, like I'm just, what? I'm trying to like, like stuff. I got to try making calzones soon. That'd be fun. And they're probably going to be delicious. Uh, I'm going full, full hog with this stuff. I ain't buying like, like pre-made dough and pre-made tomato sauce. I'm going to make that stuff myself. 
Ooh, making your own dough? Yeah. Goodness. Well, she I'm goes make, hard. I'm gonna make that Damn. cake I told you about. I'm gonna make that cake I told you about too, Caitlin, with like all those saffron leaves that I, uh, what do you call them? Um, cat, the lime leaves, I forget. There's like a word yeah. term that apparently is a dirty word in one language and I don't want to use it. Oh, yeah, the leaves. Yeah, the, the, the leaves. It's the lime leaves, leaves apparently. Leaves. They're lime leaves, basically. Lime leaves. But they're usually used in curries. But you can. Add, there's a really interesting cake recipe I found that I want to try them on because I have a lot of them because I had to order a bunch just to get a few, and I'm like, I need to use these. Nice. Yes. Um. I mean, yeah. I'm just. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Oh. I'll be not. Be back next week for for Prince Division. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. yeah, Prince Division. During this time slot next week. Yeah. Where we also may be going into certain death again. Yeah. Lol. Certain death is the best place to go sometimes. Yeah, except it's except we have we have backup. Yeah, but it's you were saying Prince Division rolls and. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get to have Wednesday rolls. I'm not on that campaign. I don't get to know what that's oh, like. Oh, trust me. They're not much I better. Mean, <laughs> with my decent luck, would that just be straight 20s for me all the time? We can only hope. <laughs> the world may never know. And uh, uh, you can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. Streaming Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. I'm playing... Tabletop Simulator. I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm playing Guilty Gear Strive Among Us. Yakuza 4 Remastered. Wildermyth. It's a lot of fun. Dude, AI it, Dungeon. It, it, score, score. AI Dungeon! Where you can find the canonical version of George Bailey fighting Tiango. Definitely canon. I will... Get kicked off the Unexpectables uh, wiki. Myself adding it. Yeah. I, uh, uh, Tiango, Tiango, come on over here. I'm going <laughs> to put you in a fucking headlock. <laughs> God won't allow me to die, Tiango. <laughs> <laughs> they say every time I... You may have thought you killed me, but every time I die, an angel gets his wings. God will let me die. Oh... <laughs> <sighs> Uh, yeah, be sure to check out Dead House Sonata. Uh, fun vampire game that's coming out uh, sometime next year. It's going to be very fun. Uh, you can look up everything you need to know on their website and on their YouTube or Twitch VODs. Uh, if you would be so inclined as to purchase a Founders Pack, get yourself access to the First Age, then you can follow that link right there. And you can also check out my DMs Guild where I'm planning to release the Accursed Fighter archetype sometime soon here. Hell yeah. That, I'd like to give a wonderful sponsor for this episode, Die Hard Dice. Die uh, Hard Dice! That rolled absolutely amazingly on your guys' loot tables for the most part. So, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, if you would like to uh, pick up some of these good rolling dice or dice accessories, then head on over to dieharddice.com. And if you use the code uh, the Unexpectables, you can get 10% off your entire order. With that out of the way, it's time to read off some bits and subs, and we can finally wrap this thing up. Uh, Gorilla Geek, thank you for the 45 bits. Hey, Cynthia, keep a leg up. By the way, can I have my goats back? Uh, no. No. Not now. Oathbreaker no, they're mine now. Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, while I didn't find any sage, but the demon had disappeared, I don't have to worry about it anymore. Yay. Passes as I can. Yeah. Awesome. Rax the Builder, thank you for the 13 months of Prime. Gorilla Geek, thank you for the 100 additional bits. Uh, hey, Lanny, since you're a fan of Wolverine and play a Wolverine-type character, maybe your next playthrough can be uh, X-Men Origins the Wolverine game? That is a very good game. I don't know, like, what what is it available on anymore that I can actually get it on? It was on PS3. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, but what what can I actually get it on? Is what I, I, like, if it was on Steam. Is it on Steam? Let me open Steam. 
I have no idea. I will have to search. I remember Protoss. loving that game as a kid. It was pretty interesting as well. Protoss103, thank you for the 100 bits. It reminds me of the part in Vegas uh, when the boss turning the turrets friendly fire off. Uh, that's true. There's also a part in uh, Fallout 2, the final boss, where you can turn the you can turn off the uh, friendly fire function on the turrets. Basically, just blow his ass away. Ooh. Uh, Stellar Coyote, you think of the 100 bits? Uh, I kind of want the group to get another Mr. Handy, and then the two of them do nothing but compliment each other. Oh my god. <laughs> that bow tie looks quite fetching on you. Not as much as it does on you. Oh, you're too kind. Oh, you're too modest. <laughs> oh. Beth Moore set the interrogation my room. God. The guy's just sitting between two Mr. Handys complimenting each other, and he's like, oh, talk! Oh, talk! Make him stop! Oh my god. I really wish now we'd gone back and gotten Mr. Dalliard and just been like, hey, help us with this, but then again, he's all shot up. So. He would have died and also exploded. <laughs> Indeed. If he, if he goes down, he's basically like a small nuke. Why did you adopt a nuke? Indeed. Why wouldn't you adopt Dude. a nuke? Yeah, I come the on. people of Megaton did. Yeah. I and, it, and, and half the time, it really works out for them. Yeah, Louise, I, the other half Louise, of the time, I, the nuke unadopts them really hard. <laughs> Sarah, I know if, like, the ammunition for Fat Man's, like, if if mini nukes had little woo faces on the front, you might collect, like, 20. Little Kirby's on them. Poyo! <laughs> Poyo! The mushroom clouds just shaped like Kirby. Poyo! <laughs> <laughs> the distance you hear him, like, like Mufasa, just going, <laughs> Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, what have I done? What have I, Night what have Owl, I, thank you for the 11 Lord. months of Prime inhales of deep concern seeing Cynthia's multiple personalities. Hmm. You hmm. Hmm. Uh, hmm. How can we help? Hmm. Interesting. 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 Very interesting. Isn't it just? If you survive, dicks, <laughs> kid. Thank you for the four months. Oh my god! <laughs> How dare you? Like, you survive, dicks. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you for the yeah, how it's, many dicks it's, can you survive? It's, <laughs> Welcome it's, to my horrible trap. It's D X X X X X Kid eight six seven six, but I call him dicks. Ah, uh, I see. Kid. <laughs> anyway, I'm back. I'm glad you're back. That way, I can keep saying your name. Stellar Coyote. Uh, -huh. uh wait, no. Uh, Zenlita, thank you for the two hundred bits. Apex is just staring at him like, bitch stole my look. <laughs> uh, I, just, I just wanted to look at wait a minute you cosplay apex too oh my god kinship oh, <laughs> my god. oh my god no yeah, that's alvin, awesome you want everything. some jet <laughs> oh my god alvin stop everything end the fight we can't kill him <laughs> oh my god he might know where the fabled issue four is uh, oh shit you read apex too oh my god it's my oh favorite my god you I've, only, some... I've only found i've only found two issues but i'm looking you, for more you want to do some jet on the roof and read some oh my god no drugs are bad okay no drugs are delicious <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes yeah, yeah, psycho's, psycho's like no just picks up like a no. bear a, a psycho and just slams into his chest. Oh my god. I just put a bunch of pills in a bowl with milk and have it for breakfast. Oh Jesus. You know alphabets? Yeah, this is an alphabet and he just drinks the fucking bowl. <laughs> oh my god. Luke the Luke is thinking of the 100 bits. Awesome session, Connor. Love your DMing as well as everyone's acting. Can't wait for the next session. Me either. It's gonna be uh. fun. I'm glad I gotta keep my leg. 
A faceless 42. Thank you for the four bits. Oh, the bomb unadopts Megaton, all right. Uh-huh. Oh, Lord. True. Oh, my. Uh, and with that, I think that's where we're going to leave it off for this week. Be sure to tune in uh, next Wednesday, where we will continue on with the Unexpectables. Uh, and let's see if there's anyone out there that okay. we can I trade. recommend one. Uh, absolutely. Um, there is a charity stream event that's happening this weekend. Uh, so Variety is Hope is the channel. Wow. Okay. Variety is Hope. I like what's that the one. Uh, What's the charity? Uh, 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 what, are, Vine, what are they supporting? Vine Sauce does a charity charity stuff every uh every year uh it's i think it's usually like children's hospitals and stuff da -da 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 -da. uh pediatric <laughs> cancer research foundation uh Excellent. for the for this month so yeah so our raid message shouldn't be hey kids you want some drugs nope. oh, God. <laughs> no no it should it. not hey, my I'll think of something uh, else my friend hey, kids want some stim pet wait no um, my friend hootie have is some candy. right now yeah. Oh my hmm. lord. What should I read? Wait, have some candy. What, like the candy man from Oliver Twist? I don't Drugs know. are bad, okay? Drugs How about are that? Uh, Drugs are bad. Man. Drugs are bad. There we go. Yeah, be our there we go. So there we go. Variety is hope is what it is? Yes, it should be uh b b b b. Let me, yeah, variety v a r i e t y is hope. Okay, go ahead and raid it. Variety is hope. Our raid message will be drugs are bad. Okay. Bye guys. Drugs are bad, McCoy. Adios, people, Renos. No, the drugs first thing I want to say. Well, no, those are drugs. Drugs are bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Bye!